Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, live to Charleston, West Virginia for the 2023 Narsika Continental Volleyball Championship. And this is a big one. Mm -mm. The match we've been looking forward to, Cuba taking on the United States. My name is Rob St. Clair, joined by Everett DeLorme. We're going to jump right into the starting lineups. As first introducing Cuba in white and red on the far side, Christian Dondike gets the start. Uh, sorry, that's my mistake on the graphic there. Those jersey numbers are incorrect, but the names are correct. Uh, Thondike gets the start at setter. Jesus Herrera at opposite. Miguel Lopez and Marlon Yant at outside hitters. Romy Alonso and Javier Concepcion in the middles. And Yonder Garcia at libero. Basically, the lineup we expect. It is interesting to see Christian Thondike get the start at setter over Levon Tabawada. Cuba, uh, very notably, a brand new head coach for this tournament, Jesus Cruz Lopez. And now to introduce the starting lineups, the team in red on the near side, the United States of America in front of a, of a growing and, and impassioned crowd here in Charleston, West Virginia. The United States starting the exact same way as we saw last night in the win over Puerto Rico. Micah Christensen, Matt Anderson, Aaron Russell, TJ DeFalco, Max Holt, David Smith, Eric Shoji. This is the guys hoping to come out here against a fellow VNL team in Cuba with Group B and a bye straight into the semifinals on the line. Everett, we've been looking forward to this. About time uh, the level of this tournament goes up a notch right about now. I mean, already today has been such a fantastic day. Definitely the best day of volleyball we've seen here, but this is this is the main event. This is the title fight. This is what the fans are here for. This is what the people at home want to see, want to see as well as these are two of the top teams in the region. You know, two top 15 teams in the world who are ready to go toe to toe. And I mean, there's a lot of history between these two teams, of course. But we're about to embark on just another chapter of the storied USA versus Cuba rivalry. I am looking forward to it. You all should be too. Thanks for tuning in live on the Volleyball Source channel, the home, exclusive home of the Norseka Championship Tournament. The United States offense has been unbelievable through two matches with completely different looking lineups for both. But this is the group that started last night in the win over Puerto Rico before some of the guys got the rest of the night off and early exit because of how well the United States was playing at the time. Cuba also 2-0 on the tournament, easily beat Puerto Rico on day one and easily beat Suriname yesterday. Both of these two teams 6-0 and in sets. And this time we're a little bit closer to the start. Uh, we're only a minute early, which <laughs> all things considered so far for this week, that's, that's pretty good as Matt Anderson's going to take the rock and get, is about to get us underway here in Charleston. Anderson. Here we go. Matt Anderson, one of the very best players of a generation. Giving the fans here in West Virginia a treat to watch him start this match off serving. Already putting Yonder Garcia under pressure, but our first look at Miguel Lopez is a beauty. A man who exploded on the scene at this tournament in 2019, helped largely in part by the Volleyball Source YouTube channel. I mean, hey, he, we know he loves all that ball on the right side. That's, that's his best case scenario there. One of the best arms in the world, Miguel Lopez, now from the service line. Oh, look at that throw down by Romy Alonso. I don't think Micah Christensen could really decide if that ball was going to be settable or not. He's a front court player. He could have gone up and contested it, but Alonso smartly throws it down. And I mean, this is exactly the rotation that Cuba wants, right? You've got the three big blocks. You got Thondike in the back row, your best server on the wow. baseline as Lopez serves the ace. Wow. Absolute rocket right to the baseline for Miguel Lopez. What a start for Cuba. That's that's big. This is definitely their best rotation. That's why that's why they start here, of course. Look at that chop. Trying to go at Matt Anderson, who can and will step into the receiving pattern for the US, having played so much outside hitter in his career. But that turn that serve missed out of bounds.
Good pressure there by Aaron Russell, but another perfect pass. That ball is scooped by DeFalco underneath the net, and Yonder Garcia is two for two on perfect passes, number seven in red on the far side. That was just another high-level swing there from Romy Alonso. One of the most underrated middles in the world, as we've been saying all week. No Robert Landy Simone this week for Cuba. He's taken the entire summer off from national team play as he deals with a lingering back issue. That serve missed out of bounds long by Alonzo on the floater. That's another thing that we saw from him yesterday where the, the weakest part of his game is definitely the serving. Serving not a weakness in this man's game. David Landy Smith, reigning Champions <laughs> League most valuable player. Good oh. service pressure there. Oh. Look at the changeup. Forcing Javier Concepcion, the Cuban middle, into reception, and he shanks it out of bounds. Both teams trading aces early here. Dave Smith, an absolute ageless legend at 38 years young. Pretty good pass there by Lopez. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. Concepcion with the windup. The contact point there for Concepcion is so high. Thondike actually does a really, really, that's a lot of it. That's a much tougher set for Thondike than it make, than he made it look. Because Concepcion hits so high, finding his window is, is a little bit more difficult. And another service error here for Cuba, this time Jesus Herrera. A strong-armed lefty friend of the channel. <laughs> friend of the channel. Not that he knows it. He doesn't know it. Friend of the channel, though. Uh, if you watched our promo clip for this tournament, you saw the nice zoom-in of Herrera giving us a point while trash-talking after Everett was giving him a hard time in Ottawa. Good times. Wow, there is Herrera right on cue. That is a back row attack. That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> that is insane. That's an absolutely disgusting sea ball to hit. What a ridiculous straight down angle that is. And now Marlon Yant, part of a really good trio of Cuban outside hitters. Easily handled by Eric Shoji oh, and Aaron yes. Russell. You could see that play developing, especially from the baseline as we're watching the games here all week. Aaron Russell, a lethal weapon out of the back row. That was just perfection. What a perfect run by Aaron, er, Aaron Christensen. <laughs> Micah Christensen and Aaron Russell. We will see that pipe combination play run by both teams. Another good pass by Garcia wow. and Concepcion, Concepcion way up high. He's playing at another level right now in the middle. That is really well done, and Thondike is doing a really good job at finding him. Some of our Cuban fans in the chat were giving us face palm emojis when they saw that Thondike was going to be the starting setter tonight, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Ooh. Not that serve, though, from Concepcion. That was not a good one. Both Cuban middles doing real well offensively blocking everything, but when they get to the baseline, lacking a little bit in that area. Four service errors already for Cuba. The United States has six points. Good rip oh, there by good. Holt. Herrera, deep cross courts. That ball is out of bounds. I did not see a touch on the block or on DeFalco defensively. No. Nice uh, catch by Canada's Luke Hur to save our the camera in front of us here. Shout out to Luke. Silky Mitz on display even on off the court. Canada enjoying two days off as the winners of Group A. The winner of this match right here will win Group oh, B. There look we at go. That lightning strike for Max Holt. The fact that Max Holt was as was off for as long as he was and his comeback as strong as he has is really incredible. It's pretty remarkable. Max Holt, 36 years of age, of course, out of Penn State was at one time one of the very best middle blockers in the world. Good touch there by Smith. Basically a free ball look here. Christensen to oh. Russell, straight down off the block and out of bounds. The United States thought, takes the lead. I almost thought Thondike had him wrapped I thought, there. I thought, I almost it, thought it, so that, too. Was, that was very close. And just like that, it went from, what was it? Was it 7-5 here, Rob? I think it might have been. It was at least 7-6 and a little string of points here for the United States. It, it Good was, serving it, by it Max Holt. It was 6-4. Oh. 6-4. Oh, up to 9-7 for the U.S. So 5-1 to one run. 
when you talk about world middle blockers, they're like you talked about Romeo Alonso earlier, who's so good attacking and blocking. Serving mm -hmm. can be a very big difference maker. Well, that's where you get the the Landy moniker, right? Oh, that's right. You need that's to be right. able to affect in offense, in defense, and also from the baseline, just like. Robert Landy Simone, of course, the one big missing omission from this Cuban team at, at the moment. They, any team with Robert Landy Simone looks a lot different. On and off the court, yeah. his leadership presence is, you can't possibly overstate it, but Concepcion and Alonso is a pretty good duo. That is a, is a pretty damn so good with duo. With Alonso returning to the team after not playing VNL this summer. Here's Holt out of the timeout. Wow, okay. again, that is a back row attack from Herrera, slicing an angle to about 12 feet off the net. The angles that he's able to create is uh, just incredible. Good setting by Thondike so far. Yeah, no, he's been really delivering the ball well, making good decisions. And here he is serving the lefty, but another Cuban service error. Yeah, Cuba's been having a real hard time we're only 18 points into this match, already four serving errors. Might even be five. You're not wrong. And back to the rotation where we started. The United States leads by two. Matt Anderson got swallowed up pretty good by Garcia last time. Oh. This time goes at Yant, who passes a nail and is available nice out of the dig. back row and overwhelms TJ DeFalco defensively. Just once again, a, a well-run play by Cuba, and there we, we were always wondering what Cuba we're going to get, and I think we got a good one. I think tonight. we got a good one, I, too. I think we got one of the good the, the good version of Cuba, which I'm, I'm even more excited yeah. about. Good setting so far, good-looking offense. Oh, That's oh, good-looking offense. That is a find of world-class quality by Micah Christensen to Dave Smith off the net. Garcia got up and immediately yelled, yelled at his teammates. He had that first ball up, and Herrera... Um, and it looks like Alonso were just kind of looking at it down. Yonder Garcia, the most veteran player on this Cuban roster, aged 30, has been around for a very long time. A serve. Oh, I oh. thought for sure that caught a piece of the sideline, but Eric Shoji was the first to admit that ball was out of bounds. No challenge system here at Norseekas this week. See if Romeo Alonso can put together a better service effort than last time. Christensen uh, to the outside, and yep, net violation there on Herrera. Nice high swing by TJ DeFalco. That tempo of that ball from Micah to the outside is lightning fast. Very, very fast. Dave Smith had an ace last time, chopping it short. Who's he going to go at here? Ooh, ripped that one right into the net, unfortunately. This is a, a particular matchup, even more so than some in the world of international men's volleyball, that you are going to see these guys make some service errors mm -hmm. because you just you simply have to serve tough. If you let, allow these two offenses to run in system easily, you're going to get stuff like this, a perfect swing by Matt Anderson cross-court against two blockers. That was wonderful, and... You know, we were talking, the, was it earlier today, about Micah Christensen changing the way he back sets? And you could see that on full display where his palm's almost underneath it and he's just adding a bit of lift to the ball. Yeah, he's trying to take the ball a little more over his right shoulder is what I remember him oh, saying. There we go. And there's an ace serve from the American setter. On cue, just as, just as we're talking about him, of course. But Micah was great last night. He joined us for an interview after the United States beat Puerto Rico. Uh, an amazingly charismatic personality. You know, uh, right now, Cuba's out actually out attacking the USA 8-5, to five, but it's the Cuban errors that really... Oh, not an error on that one, though. Nope, that's such a good high swing by Marlon Yant. That is, meet me at the uh, top of the antenna and don't be late. 100%. USA continuing 5-for-5 five five right now in attacking. They have, they have been perfect so far in offense, but the fact that they've only got five swings so far is is surprising. It's a lot of Cuban service errors. Yeah, you're uh, right. And there they, we go. And they have no choice but to try and apply that pressure to the United States. Let's see what Yance got here. That's a good one. Yeah. Here's an out-of-system situation. And a bump-setting mistake there by DeFalco. Anderson had no chance. Give all the credit to Marlon Yant. If Cuba can... 
I don't mind if their serving errors are high if they're getting output from it. Exactly. Right now, that's the second ace of the match for Cuba, um, which is still one less than the U.S. But that's uh, going to be followed up with a, right. with a serve into the net. So. That Yant one won't be an ace on the stat sheet, but it's the next best thing. Like they, they put up true, the United true, true. States under serious, serious pressure. We have the offense predictable. I mean, that's the name of the game in international volleyball. Can you get the other team's setter way off the net? Here's a man with a whip for an arm. Oh, what a pass nice by Lopez. Lopez. And wow. through a seam in the block goes Jesus Herrera, looking very good so far, Everett. He, Herrera is looking like he's dialed in. That's and scary. Al but also, Lopez made that serve look easy. Lopez, that was casual. That was a that was a practice rep for Lopez. Another thing that you can kind of use as a gauge for Cuba is how well are they receiving serve. Another overpass there from the U.S. put down by Romy Alonso. A little bit of frustration shown there by Eric Shoji. A very, very uncharacteristic serve-receive mistake on that one. Tied up at 15. Cuba now starting to get a little bit of that return on their serving investment. Oh, that one wiggled a little bit. Wow. It's up, it's Amazing up. Amazing cover by Anderson with his foot, but a free ball here for Cuba. Lifted into the rafters. Herrera oh. again, four for four if I'm not mistaken so far. What a block by Romy Alonso to set up that opportunity for Cuba. Yeah, he's he's four for four for four five for five with All one right. error on the night so far. But that was exceptional and just like that, Cuba, U.S. was leading 14-11 and just like that, Cuba is right back into it. Both of these teams are capable of runs just like that. You. Mm -hmm. String together a couple great serves. You string together a couple block touches. Get your transition offense going, and all of a sudden, the seesaw of momentum in volleyball is completely balanced on the other side. And John Spira and his team for the for the United States, they they knew this was coming. They yeah. knew that this was the match. They knew that this pool or this group, Group B in the Norseka Championship, was not going to be given to them for free. Cuba is a good team. We, ever, you and I saw Cuba beat Brazil earlier this summer. We did. Like when, when it's good Cuba, which is a coin flip, when it's good Cuba, good Cuba is scary to everybody on the planet. And it yeah. looks early on like we got good Cuba tonight. Good Cuba is, is a threat to anyone in the world. Okay. Good high swing there by Aaron Russell. Beats the late block of Alonso and out of bounds. We're tied up at 16. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely that conversation there for uh, Alonso. Does he, because he was far away, and then Micah really pushed pushed the, the spread on that one. Does he just stay back or does he dive in like he did? Good question. Another really good serve by Holt. Lopez way out of system oh. somehow. Finds an angle inside the three blockers, just sort of off the inside of Aaron Russell's inside hand. Nice bailout swing there by number 18 in white. Former MVP of the Club World Championship for Sada Crucero a couple years ago. Just out of bounds. DeFalco got away with one there. I thought that might tag the baseline, and he just was going to let it happen, whatever thought, it was. I thought so as well. But good eye, good communication in all in all by Team USA. 17-17, this is the most that either of these two teams have been tested so far in this tournament. Serve into the net there by Anderson, and that's a definitely a sigh of relief for Cuba, especially at this juncture of the set. And now Miguel Lopez, who came flying out of the gates, serving early in this set has a chance to extend the lead. Four-man serve receive for the USA. Oh, great pass by Shoji as usual. And wow. DeFalco is stuffed straight down. What a monstrous block by Marlon Yant. It was Huge. just the two. It was just Yant and Alonso on that one. Excellent help block by number 23 in white, Marlon Yant. But they were able, he was able to, uh, Alonso was able to close nicely to Yant. Fantastic block all around. Cuba's looking good right now. Tight pass again. Free ball chance here for Cuba. Yan oh, stuffs straight there we down go. by Smith. What a response. That's it. And it's, you're starting to feel it heat up now. Oh, oh the two yeah. teams have been oh, feeling yeah. each other out at the beginning of this, this set. And 
Ooh, all of in, uh, all indications right now are showing that we're gonna we're in for a good one. We're in for a banger here, ladies and gentlemen. We had eight appetizers, all three zeros to get to this match. Oh, a serve that's Aaron in Russell. There. Right on the baseline, we are tied. The, the the level of volleyball right now in the last 10 minutes of this match has completely changed the feel of this tournament. The Cuban bench is over there confirming that that was in. So we're all tied up at 19 with Russell on the baseline. Can he do it again? Really good pass by Yant. Herrera oh. is blocked by DeFalco. Two in a row for the United States. That's three big plays in a row for the United States. They changed the momentum of the set completely. Wow. The block, the ace, and the, th the second block there. What a wonderful sequence, sequence, sequence of events there right, by the United States. Right after DeFalco got stuffed on the mm -hmm. pipe inside out. Like what a turn of events for the USA. 20 to 19 timeout Cuba. And this, we've seen the lead change already three or four times here in this first set, Rob. Um, which is which is a very nice um, change compared to some of the ball we've been seeing so far this week. Everett, I'm like, I'm, I, I, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a level of excitement about the volleyball right now that I haven't felt yet this tournament. I, I, it's, are you sure you're not secretly drinking coffee? Uh, I promise. I only took the one caffeine pill this morning, too. Oh, just, just the one. Just okay. the one. Sometimes I have to go with another half in the middle of the day, depending right. on how it goes. But no, uh, you you don't need any energy drinks when these two teams are playing volleyball right in front of your eyes or right on your screens in 1440p 60 FPS. No, as Aaron Russell now heads back to serve. Shout out to Cody Kessel, cameraman down there behind him. Good timeout there from Cuba. And now they have Alonso back to back to serve as Concepcion comes in. And I wonder if we're going to start seeing a serving sub for Alonso, right? Mm. That would be another tier of coaching from it that the, the Cuban staff. We could see Suarez, the outside hitter who exactly. played really well in, uh, yesterday. Oh, there we go. Alonso puts ones in. Wow. Oh. That ball will never be seen again. Destroyed down the line by Matt Anderson. And you know, big ups to Alonso there. He, he just stood in, in there. there and strapped it on. You know, that's a let it hit you and, and hope for the best. And unfortunately, he just hit the wrong side of the arm. I, I knew as soon as Anderson went to go get that ball with like, the line being open, that was going to be a rocket. And now we have a service sub. Yeah. Garrett and Tutia in for Dave Smith to serve and play some defense. Garrett did get a dig kill last night, which he was did. pretty yes, sweet. That was fantastic. Big serve here for number 18 in red. Finds a seam pretty nicely. Cuba is out of system. Three-man block is a good one. Nice coverage. And a free ball oh, at best. But tough. Lopez can't get underneath it. A huge break point for the United States. That's a, a few great sequences of blocking there for the United States in the last few points. Three blocks uh, uh, since that big block by Cuba. That's the way to answer. Such a smart serve by Garrett Mwangatutia as well. Not a ton of pace, but directly in between Lopez and Yan. That's exactly the spot where he wanted to go, and that produced the triple block opportunity. Clean up the floor here, 22-20. That is a massive insurance point for the USA. That gives them that two-point spread. And that's all you need. You just have to play side out volleyball from here on out. But tight pass. Serving. DeFalco puts it down. What a performance by the service sub, Garrett Wangatutia. Yeah, he's come in and put two heaters in. What a choice by John Sporal. Like David Smith can certainly yeah. serve. I mean, he had the one only, the one ace right. uh, from this match already from the USA. I was somewhat questioning it, but I've got to learn at this point not to question Sporal. <laughs> That one very nicely handled by Lopez oh, and Concepcion. Concepcion. I do not understand how he can play at this level with that windup. Because he hits, he hits way higher than anyone else, and that windup gives true. him. Like, Anderson was not in a normal spot there, and Concepcion was able to bring it all the way back right to the tee at one where Anderson should have been. He has that vision, and that's why he's so deadly. Another very scary server here for Cuba, but Herrera unable to get going in that area. Big break for the USA. It is set point 24-21. Micah Christensen has an ace in this set. Got a chance to put it away right here, and he can't do so yet. 
Now Marlon Yance needing two points on his serve to force overtime. We have not seen overtime yet in this entire tournament. We have not. Is this going to be the first time? One side out for the nope. United States, and they get it the easy way. Not good hand contact at all there from Nient. And the United States, that man, after that TJ DeFalco getting blocked out of the pipe, block, ace, block. Turn the tide completely, and we're able to push towards the finish line. Yeah, absolutely. That you can tell, and it's it's that's what makes this team so good, and it's the mark of a of a really good team when you're able to turn it on uh, around 18. You know, yep. once once the the finish line is in view, then you you, you turn it on right away, um, and that's exactly what we saw there with some clutch blocking and fantastic serving by the United States of America. Welcome behind the broadcast booth, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rob St. Clair. This is Everett DeLorme. We are thrilled to be bringing you this tournament and this match in particular. I'm serious. The energy level, it, I, I know that there's not a ton of people in the crowd, but their presence is being mm -hmm. felt, I think. Yeah, yeah. And just the level of volleyball that's being played right now, this is bringing it. This is what we're going to see the rest of this weekend as we get into single elimination bracket play tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? We're getting more and more people as the week goes on. So once we hit the weekend, I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. But this is th this is what we're here for. This is the matchup we've been waiting for in group play. And so far, it hasn't disappointed. Both of these teams have been battling out. We've seen multiple lead changes and, and some big plays. But early on, Cuba, I think, up until the end of that set, has kind of been dictating the play, both by their offensive output and the number of errors that, exactly. they're, that they're making, right? And so it's it's one of those benefits of sometimes of that aggressive serving is that yeah you're also you're putting on the pressure and maybe scoring some aces but when you miss it you fail to give the other team an opportunity to get into the offensive rhythm i think we were talking to mark pavlik the head coach of penn state earlier this year at the first point event in austin yeah. he said that exact thing about all the service errors is the, the pace of this game is going to be done determined on our terms mm -hmm. and that's exactly it the, like you said you were failing to give the other team a chance to get momentum by missing serves. Sometimes that can be a, a silver lining of sorts. Yeah. But the stakes in this match are pretty significant because the winner wins the group, they get tomorrow off, mm -hmm. and they get a significantly easier path to the final. Uh, the winner of this one will get the bye, and they'll probably take on the winner of Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. The loser of this will play Mexico, and then the winner of that would play Canada. Much, much more difficult semifinal. Yeah, absolutely. And the today's matches have really been some of the most important. We've seen like everyone had every single one of them had playoff implications, and we saw what it meant to the Dominican Republic in the last match. Wow, where they what played. a turnaround that was! Absolutely, they've played some of the best volleyball I've ever seen from them. Um, so this one, you know that all the players know what's on the line. They, they they know what what is up for them if they don't come through, and how Cuba bounces back here is going to be really important to how, how this game is going to end. If they can bounce back right in this set, if they go down 0-2, then I don't see them coming back. But if they can bounce back here, steal one away, make it a three-set game, anything can happen. Absolutely. And uh, we're looking at the lineups as we get ready here for set number two. No changes for either team. Not surprised. I agree. I think no, Cuba, did, no. Cuba did dictate a lot of that first yeah. set. But like you said, once it got to point eight team, that's where the experience of this American team, one of the very oldest teams on average, in world volleyball, the experience really paying dividends once they got to the late part of that set. Yep, 100%. And uh, the, the, the guys that you'd look at bringing in is maybe Tabuada, and I thought Thondike was amazing. Thondike set a good game. And, and then both Lopez and Herrera have been good and on point tonight, so Melguerrejo isn't, isn't needed. Agreed? Yeah. So here we go. Miguel Lopez in set number two, serving on the near side, served a rocket of an ace to start the match. What can he do right here? Set number two underway, live on Volleyball Source. Oh, nice oh, job. Man. Look at that untouched ace by Miguel Lopez. They were all expecting one to pin him. They were back on their heels, almost on that baseline. And Lopez, he has such a nice contact point, and that's what makes him so effective. Yeah, you can drop that ball off short because Exactly that contact point. Oh, again. Oh, no way. The tape dribbler. The dribbler. What a wow. lucky break for Lopez. Two aces in a row. You, now, you better believe he's going to uncork this one. I mean, he's gone two, two, two aces here 
with like a 65% swing. Still Oh, no, he's going to cork it. Oh, nope. no, no, not really. Four-man serve received. Perfect pass. Smith is slowed down. Over the top by Yant. Oh, Beautiful play by up. Shoji. Scramble is on. Lopez oh, out of the back row against no blockers. Wow. Wow. David Smith was left on skates there, and I don't think he had any idea of what was going on. I did not expect the out-of-system high ball to go to the pipe, no, to be I, fair. That is not normal. Everyone was looking towards Herrera on that one. Everyone thought that ball was going to the right. What a great set by Thondike. Another great start here for Cuba. Aaron Russell gets the United States on the board. Nice quick ball touched by the block and the defense. Already here, four points in. I'm loving Cuba's response to losing that set. It's really hard to overstate how important it was in a, in a positive way for the Cuban Federation to change coaches after VNL. That has made all the difference in the world for them. And now it's uh, there's a lot of reason for optimism for this federation. Wow. Oh, oh. There's a lot of reason for optimism when Marlon Yan, who's already been playing at the highest level for years, is only 22 years of age. <laughs> that, Isn't that insane? That doesn't even make sense. No, that's gross. Like, <laughs> don't tell me that. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Goodness gracious. I, it's 22. He's I've, already got like two Scudettos. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's insane. Alonso now and puts, that's two in a row in from him, which. Nice save by Micah Christensen. Hittable ball, but it's slowed down. Basically a free ball chance here. Herrera way to the oh. inside. Anderson with one hand. Smart shot by DeFalco. Option ball. Oh, yeah, they sh he should have hit that. Agreed. Now Anderson. No, Russell shifting over to the D-ball position. And a play that the United States invented wins a miraculous point that the United States really had no business winning. That was wonderful by both sides. That, that's hands down the best rally we've seen this so far this, Definitely. this match. Eric showed you his float serve reception on that one. Not particularly great, but an amazing rescue by Christensen to kickstart a great rally. Here's Dave Smith. Wow. That is a back row attack violation. Or no, reaching over the net by Thondike. Yep. A good call there. Nice pressure by Smith. David Landy. That is the, calling him that as the highest compliment we can give. Beautiful ball there by Lopez. Wow. Oh, wow. Great scoop by Russell. Anderson sends it over. Thondike, though, out of the play. Herrera against three blockers. Somehow Ooh, finds wow. some space between Holt and Christensen, I think. And Holt turns around and is wondering what happened there. I will say that was a very un-Matt Anderson-like play for him to just to do the two-hand dump volley and ha had very little intention behind it. Interesting. Interesting. I, yeah, I would like to see him go take a rip at that ball. Herrera trying to find his rhythm from the service line. Eaten alive by Eric Shoji and a one-on-one -on -one bang from Anderson on the right side. You know what's crazy about that is that everyone knew what was going. Everyone knew what was happening on, the, on that one-on-one. -on -one. You had a, a campfire of Cuban defenders <laughs> right there, and still they weren't able to stop Matt Anderson. Such a good pass by number 22 in dark blue. Eric Shoji called by his head coach the best receiver in the world. Oh, good dish there by Thondike, oh, by Max Holt, baby! Max Holt. Oh my goodness! That is thunderous. They have always called him Thunder Holt. Welcome back to the national scene, number 12 in red. Love to have him back. 5-5 five, five here in the second set. Christensen changes the pace. Herrera on the oh, repeat! Another one! Is shut down by DeFalco, what a move! What a move. Wow. DeFalco was like, it looked like he was trying to be Michael Phelps and dive into the pool on that one. <laughs> he was almost horizontal. That was like the biggest drive-by block I've seen in my life, I think. Hard to blame Herrera for not expecting oh. DeFalco to be there. I came out of nowhere. What a momentum shift for the United States. Uh, just like that and two massive blocks. And so far, when USA wants to turn things around, when they want to build momentum, it's been through their block. All of their blocks have come at massive times. 
TJ DeFalco is really one of the finest pin blockers in the world, really innovative in the mature moves that he makes. Yeah. That one was out of desperation, yeah. make no mistake. Just get there and see what happens. Yeah, six blocks already, or sorry, five blocks already for the U.S. in this match. One for Cuba. One for Cuba. One of the big, big reasons USA is up one nothing right now and have pulled ahead here 6-5 as Michael Christensen is, continues to serve. I like that floater change up. Yant is all over it. Oh, Shoji is there. Great transition chance. Fed to the middle for Holt, but Herrera's okay. underneath it. Doesn't matter. Max Holt gets his own rebound. And this is where you can start to feel the U.S. Pu putting on the pressure. That steamroller is starting to roll. And Cuba needs to jump in the cab real quick and take out the keys because <laughs> otherwise it's going to be really hard to stop. Here comes the boom, 7-5. Mm, Christensen changes the pace and drops it short into the net, but a good momentum-changing run there after Cuba started up 3-0. Now I'm looking for Cuba to respond. And they can. They've got six tremendous servers, and so does the United States. Wow, oh, ho, ho, TJ Falco on the right side. Interesting that uh, Tefalco is in the L1 position, hitting on the right in that one rotation. Uh, but he and Aaron Russell are both capable in that spot. Uh, remembering back to last year's VNL finals when the United States was down two nothing to France, and TJ was like, "You know what? Screw it. We're we're kind of getting kicked out there right now. Put me on the right side and let's see what happens." And the U.S. brought it back to five, almost won the tournament. Nice touch there by Holt. Such a good set by Don Dyke. Marlon Yant out of nowhere in the back row. That was beautiful play. And as Max Holt was running back in, he was trying to get Aaron Russell to take that, that middle position. And that little, not miscommunication because it happened so quickly, but that little delay there is what provided the gap. Concepcion changes up the pace of his serve. Russell, oh, oh, oh. high hard off the block of Thondike and out of bounds. That was his goal all along. There never was a court there for never. Aaron Russell. Never. No, just Thondike's hands. So fast. The way the offense develops is crazy. You can really see why Micah Christensen is considered by many, myself included, to be the best setter on the planet. It's him or Dicheco. Has to be him or Dicheco. Ho, ho, ho. That just missed my camera. Nice. Spatched a little bit by Max Holt. A little bit. That was a little flat. <laughs> Somebody in the chat earlier, Everett, said that what, what you call a phaser, I call a spatch. They call it a birdie, a as birdie. in like shooting birds out okay. of the air. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of like that. Love the different lingo from the different corners. Let us know uh, where you're from that says that. Ho, ho, ho. Slick set by Christensen and a very good off-speed shot. It's millimeters over Lopez's fingertips. What people just saw from Mike and Christensen, it's, it's so minute that people won't notice, but he fakes the jump set to get the middles, the blockers to bite, and then stands down and, and tosses over the, the back set. It's those little things that mess with the rhythm of the blockers that do so well. Ho, ho. You can hear Anderson grunt as he unleashes that serve. Alonso's got to do something with this. Now, this is a free ball chance for the United States. Oh, DeFalco baby. out of the How is that up? Oh, wow. Credit Thondike for hanging in there, but that ball was rocketed against no blockers. It was detonated. That was huge. 11-8 now for the USA. And Cuba's not playing poorly, but the USA has really started to implement their, implement their game in this match. Yeah, you, you, you correctly said that Cuba kind of controlled the face the first half of the first set. Now it is the Americans in command. Herrera, the lefty on the left side, basically sends over a free ball. Christensen with a great chance. A little too fast, though, for Russell. Oh, Lopez, oh. what a dick by Shoji. And Anderson scrambling. The United States is all out of sorts right now. Cuba has to take <laughs> advantage, and they do. Oh, Christensen really wants a reaching over the net call against Herrera, but I think that ball was at the very least above the plane of the net. That one, I'm not entirely sure if it was a middle set for Romy Alonso or an outside set for Herrera. It could have been either or. Didn't seem to be high enough for Herrera, but he was up in the air and dumped it over anyways. But same thing with the previous ball from the U.S. That fast one to Russell, I thought may have been intended to be a middle set. That was a pretty weird play. Wow. 
Can Anderson chase this down? He yes, he can. Russell against three blockers is slowed down. Great chance here for him. Cuba. Yeah, it's high. Look at how high he is hitting that ball. He looks, you know, I remember seeing him last year during the Pan Am Cup, and he was just limping around. Yep. And he was just a shell of himself at the World Championships. He, this is the healthiest he's ever looked to me. Agreed. He looks phenomenal in person. We've typically seen him, I mean, he's been one of the best players in Italy in the best league in the world the last couple of years. But then on the national team, he just looks a little slow, a little disengaged. And uh, maybe some of that is due to the, the Federation now having changed the coach. Maybe that's re-energized him. But I think Yant looks fantastic. And a friendly reminder, he's 22. Ooh, Lopez had success with the chop serve earlier. Not that time. Yeah, the natural timeout there due to uh, wiping the floor really iced him a little bit. And that is going to be a huge relief for those Team USA serve receivers. Now Aaron Russell has recovered from hip surgery that took him out of the Tokyo Olympics and is back to being one of the best Ooh. outside hitters on the planet. Even with that service error there, I feel like people kind of forget about Aaron Russell because he's been playing club over in Japan. Mm -hmm. yep. He's kind of out of the Western eye for nine months out of the year, but do not forget about number two in red. No, and the scary thing too about this USA squad, we've talked about it before, is you have a guy like Thomas Chayeski as, as well who has the ability to step in and drop 25 on any given night as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Nice foot serve there by Alonso. Oh, Back wow. one find to Smith is dug pretty nicely. Now Yant with some high ball practice, and he smokes Anderson down the line. Interesting there where that they set up that block on Yant out of system. They were really far inside, and there was a lot of – they're forcing him to go down the line, swing down the line on that. I haven't seen Yant hit a whole bunch of line in his career. No. He seems like a high, hard angle kind of guy. Yeah. And they're uh, really taking that away right now out of system against Yan. Now he's now proving he can hit the ball down the line. So the chess match will continue. Alonso back to serve. Tie game here. Cuba has responded. But that not a good error at no. all. We know how Rob feels about float <laughs> serves and missing <laughs> float serves. You guys know how I feel about float serve errors. Here is David Smith. Oh, that's a really good pass by Marlon Yant. Similarly good touch by Holt. Once again, Cuba, Yant is blocked and out of bounds. Christian Thondike is setting himself a really nice game right now. This is, yeah, he is doing really, really well at this moment. And, you know, we saw him not be super crisp against uh, Puerto Rico on Tuesday. Didn't play yesterday, but today he has been fantastic. This may have been the best match I've ever seen him set. Ooh, good serve. What an amazing pass by Shoji, and DeFalco easily takes care of the one-on-one. -on -one. That is as good of a serve as Herrera is capable of, and Shoji just made it look easy. I mean, hey, that's why John Sprock calls him the best serve receiver in the world. Incredible. Just brilliant work by number 22 in blue, friend of the channel. We love Eric Shoji, as you should. Good oh, pressure there serve. by Christensen going with the spinner this Ooh. time. And now high ball chance for DeFalco against three blockers. Did he get the touch? Yep. Yes, he did. Great swing. Great like you swing. said about Russell earlier, the court just didn't exist on no, that play. No, the court didn't exist, and there was only one intention the entire time for uh, TJ DeFalco. And as you could tell, Thondike's reaction as soon as he came down, that the, the touch was there. Christensen's really going after it right now. Pretty good ball there from Lopez. Oh, that's, that's a face up. block by DeFalco. And uh, could have maybe been tracked down. No, I think it, it went off to Falco's face. I thought it was first, but it went forward. Mm, true, so. yeah, inside the antenna. So Falco will shake that one off. Like I like to say, Everett, if you block a ball with your forehead, it means you're in the right spot. Absolutely. If you dig a ball at the chest, you know you're, <laughs> you know you're in the right Ask spot. Ask the Mexican national team. They are the masters of that. Love it. Looks like DeFalco's good to go. Rotation one received here for the U.S. Leading by one. Got to get Marlon Yant off the baseline here. Oh, another great, great ball pass. by Shoji. Again, and nobody up on Max Holt in the middle. Concepcion immediately. No, he, he knew that he missed his assignment on that one. Great set by Christensen. I mean, there's so many things that I could say about Micah Christensen. He's just he's so good. It's his brain, in addition to his incredible physical attributes that really make him one of the best. 
Pretty good pass by Yant mm -hmm. off the tape there. Gets it back. Gets it back, and Russell comes out of nowhere to, to block that ball, maybe assisted by the tape. But that's a big break point to go up by three. Yeah, that, that was a big move. And the USA, once again, in every aspect of their game, they're just showing who they are. They're putting pressure from the baseline, and they're very, very present in blocking. Oh, my wow. goodness. Unloaded on. Wow. What a block by Max Holt. Serve block perfection there by Team USA. That was that was amazing. Perfect. That's, it's perfect. It's perfect. You're, you're forcing Cuba to call that timeout. And I mean, I thought Thondike delivered a pretty good ball for, for Cuban Sanders. It was a high ball, right? Which is, which is what we know and love from Cuban volleyball, their ability to hit the high ball. But the block is just so in sync. They go up together as a unit. They press over well. It, you have so much room taken away, and there's there's really nothing to swing at. Six foot ten and six foot ten. Mm -hmm. The Nittany Lion connection, Max Holt and Matt Anderson. Textbook blocking right there, and give credit to DeFalco on the serve. It is 18-14, and it's is, not like Cuba's playing bad volleyball. Is Aaron Russell in the front row too? Do we oh. have a? Do we have the? Uh, oh my God! Do we is have a Nittany Lion three-way going I, on right now? As a matter of fact, I think we do. I think that was a, a Nittany Lion three-way right now. And right Aaron there. Russell is the shortest of them at six foot eight. <laughs> 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 like, how do you? What do you? What do you do against that? That is, uh, that is uh, disheartening indeed. That's. So can DeFalco keep the rhythm going after this timeout? Not, Not this time. Good timeout by Jesus Cruz. Concepcion goes back to serve, and we've seen him with a few different variations here. We like Concepcion. We chatted with him in Ottawa. Very good English speaker. Nice find by Christensen to Holt again. Everett, Micah was telling us last night the ridiculous number of different routes that they have in their playbook for middles and how it varies from middle attacker to middle attacker. So technical. Max Holt's really come alive here in the second set. Has to change that one up from an imperfect toss. Now Alonso off speed is dug by Christensen. Good block touch there against Anderson. How Cuba? How quickly can Cuba reset? Wow. Not quick enough. Dave Smith slams the door. You know what? I've noticed that Thondike's delivering that ball just a little bit higher in general, but especially on the right side, and it's really giving, especially a blocker like David Smith, so much more time to get in there. Like that's all. Their shoulder to shoulder pressing together. It's really hard right now. And I want to see Herrero swing down the line, but I don't know if he has that shot at the moment. Great move by Smith that time. Oh, and look at that, a changeup works for the United States. And just like that, the USA has blown this game wide open and Holt in, in this one road front row rotation at two kills and now an ace. 21-15. <laughs> Great point in the chat. Max Holt picking up Taylor Averill with a nice set from the middle <laughs> blocker. I was thinking the same thing. What a pass by Yant. And okay. that ball is oh, destroyed oh, oh. by Jesus Herrera, and Yant celebrates as he should. What a first contact. Thondike, the left-handed center back to serve. Uh, kind of quiet serving and attacking as mm -hmm. far as a, he's a pretty big setter at 1 he meter is. 95. Yeah. Okay. Well, when you serve Eric Shoji, you're probably not going to score that many points, and that just looks so easy for David Smith. This connection has been amongst these guys have been going on now for so long. A and decade plus. Micah Christensen, I'm pretty sure this is his 10th season as the starting setter for Team USA. Got Ronnie in the chat saying, now Cruz is a stooge. Bring back Vives. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Nice stab by Garcia, but this will be a tricky swing for Herrera on the left. And smart read by Shoji to let it go out of bounds. This set's over. It's 23-16. Yeah, absolutely. It got away from, um, from Cuba. They never got in the cab and took away the keys. And now the steamroller is just going for it. Rolling downhill. Good luck stopping it. Here's Matt Anderson. Wow. Actually, a really good pass by Garcia. Straight down, oh. stuff blocked by Russell again. Herrera is not happy 
And I, I don't blame him. It is demoralizing to play against this United States team. Eight blocks to one in favor of the USA right now in this match. And uh, averaging four blocks a set. Yeah. Enough Unreal. said. Enough, Enough said. said. Set point to take a two nothing lead. Matt Anderson off the tape and kept alive. Ooh, a bit of a throw okay. there from Yant. No call. DeFalco shifts over to the right oh. side. And he gets stuffed straight down by Romy Alonso. That's big for Cuba. Big. A big play right at the end of the set like that. And like I talked about in the last game with Mexico, sometimes these end of end of set points are super important to build momentum for the next one. Absolutely. And another guy who can contribute to that. If Lopez can string one or two together here, who knows? Oh, my God. Eric Shoji. Matt Anderson ripped down the line. And that will do it. The level of that first ball side out really illustrates just how good this American team is. They lead this match two sets to none. So good so far by the USA. They have been absolutely dominant. And I mean, it's not easy, especially against this Cuban team. This Cuban team is very, very good. But last set, Cuba dictated it, especially with their errors. But this set, it was all USA from the baseline at the net in first ball side out. They have been just outstanding. 22 for 35 tonight so far. Wow. With only two errors. Wow. This has been one of the most efficient versions of the team of Team USA we've seen in a long time. The past two nights, you can under, kind of understand why, but you're doing that against another VNL team, another top 15, 15 team in the world right now. So the Team USA is just playing on another level, Rob. Everett, I have a question for you. I think we kind of know, if, if you were to ask how to describe Cuba's play style, we kind of know the answer. They're yeah. big, they're physical, they have huge arms. They're athletic. They're, yeah. they're athletic, they just, they're just kind of a, a big, explosive team. How would you describe the United States? Because they're mm. so good at everything, how would you describe their play style? Well, that's what, it, it, it's very consistent across the board. And now this team has many stars, but they might not have another superstar at the level of like a Leon or, a, or an Emir and stuff like that. Like guys who currently carry carry their pro teams. And I mean, you have some guys who used to be able to do that, like a Matt Anderson and, and other guys who, they, they have really good pieces all around, right? They're the deepest team possibly in volleyball at the moment. I would Maybe say other second po only to Poland. Second only to Poland, of, of So course. deep. Like, this bench unit that's warming up here in front of us is incredible. Yeah, but the serve block game is, I think, what really defines Team USA, right? Um, just in terms of a, of, a, of a generational thing, that's one thing that's consistent that you see from generation to, ge to generation. Right now, you're seeing, like, the past generation, when you're looking at Loy Ball and Clay Stanley, it was very, very power-driven, yep. right? You had a big team, a big setter, they were powerful. Now you see such a creative, because of the, 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 the roster that they have and the setters that they have, they have such a creative outlet of, uh, of, of offense. And if we look at those routes and those things that we're talking about, U.S. Day does that better than none. The only, the only middle that I can truly think that does it maybe better than the U.S. ones is Los Air, yep. right? And the Argentinian, and he's working with coincidentally one hmm. of the other best setters in the world. What do you see so, in common there? Huh? So, yeah, you know, I don't think that necessarily, like, you have a high level of skill on the USA. I don't think it's when you look at other other outfits like France or Italy or, or Japan even, the skill isn't necessarily there, but I, at this point, I we, we said it before, I think the USA's rank as number two in the world is very appropriate. I agree. Just a masterful blend of size and power with skill, touch, and creativity, and a whole lot of veteran experience. And uh, we talked to John Sparrow last night. Great interview. Go check it out here on the channel. Um, their next skill that they need to learn is to win. It has been a while since they have they've been on many podiums, but it's been mm -hmm. a very long time since they've been on top of one. This is a good opportunity here this week against serious competition. Like Canada and Cuba are two really good teams. No shit talking to Rero today. <laughs> no, that, uh, you know what? That was only really for the Canada-Cuba match that meant a lot uh, in, in the VNL. It did mean a lot. And so, yeah, you know what? We get hype. 
if, we do. if Canada and Cuba do play, do play, I promise to be a little bit more professional than I was on that night. Although I will be significantly less beers deep than I was on that <laughs> night. But uh, look forward if, if if it just so happens that the United States plays Canada in the final, that will be an electric broadcast. Set three underway. Matt Anderson slowed down by the tape on the near side, and Alonzo thumps that one to the floor. And just like in the last set, Cuba comes out swinging. Cuba's come out strong in the past two sets. They have. So it, it's really going to be interesting to see how if they can continue that and, and sustain it throughout the set. How does Cuba react with their backs against the wall oh. down 0-2? That is a good start from Lopez. Oh, nobody yes. home. Great set choice from Thondike. Reward the guy who got you that ball on his serve. Oh. No blockers up. Oh, that was absolutely disgusting. Filthy. Oh, Bet that looked really oh. good from the baseline. Oh, I just saw <laughs> yeah, it yeah, in the yeah. studio. That, that was awesome. amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. I wish that, I mean, we kind of have instant replay. I wish we had it for you guys, too. Next time, for sure. Next time. Triple block here against Russell. How did he find that space? That was awesome. Well, was well, that well down done. the line outside the outside blocker? I think it went through be between the hands. Mm, little field goal action. It, it was a field goal. I just saw it right between Thondike's arms, or uh, Herrera's arms, sorry. Aaron Russell back to serve. Uh, just announced that he and his wife are expecting a baby, so congratulations to them. Another good serve. That baby's going to be pretty athletic. What oh. a diving play by Matt Anderson. Take a swing, TJ. Why not? What a transition play by the United States. That was textbook. What a dig. What a sprawl by Matt Anderson. He's a big he's a big body, so you don't really see six guys to six foot eight who play defense like that. And then TJ DeFalco. This dude has so many tools in his toolbox. He's a one-man handyman. He got his feet to that ball so far inside the sideline and took the perfect mm. swing. That ball missed by Aaron Russell. Now, Romy Alonso. I do like that Cuba has one or two float serves in, in sort of the mix of their grand scheme of serving, but uh, Alonso's got to serve in a little more consistently. Good one there, working on DeFalco. Oh, Russell that out of was the back so row. fast. That's so fast, that pick. Oh, man, like the... the the speed at which Aaron Russell is committing to that, he's jumping just set like ju like half a second after after David Smith. There is no time whatsoever to react to that ball. I love the speed. He actually might need that ball a tiny bit higher even. He still gets the kill anyway. Ooh, Ooh. weird hand contact there by Smith. Wow. What a scoop by Russell. Ah, uh, not a bad recycle attempt by DeFalco, but swallowed up and thrown down by Marlon Yant. Very interesting there. They're, take, they're giving Mar Marlon Yant the entire line, and Anderson is stepping inside. There's so much room there. They're taunting him. They're saying, swing over here. We bet you can't. That, that could have been a straight down line it bounce. absolutely could have and been. Russell made a relatively easy defensive play. Oh, oh a serve miscommunication between Russell and Holt. That half second yeah. look there between the two of them. Lucky break for Herrera off the tape, but maybe that can get him going. We saw Herrera start really hot on offense in the first set, but has been really quiet since. Blocked a couple times, has missed a bunch of serves. Let's see if that gets him going. Oh. Wow, that one had some pretty nasty side spin on it in the wrong direction. This is where the Cuba needs to be aware that they might be losing Herrera. Right, and he's someone that he can he can either be on and off. He is the typical Cuban in, in in that sense. And when he's on, he's one of the best. Might need to get Miguel Gutierrez potentially ready to come into the game. Okay, good commit block there by Holt on Concepcion, but uh, too good from number five in white. Just another thing of, about this uh, about the Concepcion swing is that once again the delay just messes with the timing a little bit. Definitely. It definitely does. Here is Yant to serve. Rotation one received. Four men passing for the U.S. Oh, high hard for Anderson. Is slowed down nicely. Great looking transition. Yant out of the back row. Scoop by Russell. Oh, oh. I don't like that choice by Anderson. I, I, Difficult I, situation. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's pulling out the two-hand set over, and I, 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 I don't, don't think like I like it. it. I, I don't, don't think like I like it. it. I like a lot of things that Matt Anderson does. That's not one of them. Don't and that like may be it. the only thing. 
Well, he looks good out there doing it. That's for sure. Love that run. That's that degree of difficulty run that we were talking about earlier with Puerto Rico. Running the Bic when the setter is directly underneath where the Bic hitter is supposed to be. That angle is weird, and that looked great. Just in the, the rhythm at which they're running that back row, anything back row Team USA right now is, is really something else. Perfect pass there by Lopez. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, what a block by Aaron Russell. He shut the door there on Herrera. And once again, a lot of room down that line. And Team USA has really narrowed their defense yes, right they now. they have. They're really taunting Cuba and giving them a lot of space down the line. Making the court for the Cuban attackers look a lot smaller because they're not oh, willing to hit the oh, line. Oh. And that ball, a clean ace into the seam by DeFalco. And you know what? That's such a smart serve. He's hitting that ball on his way down and just chopping it over, and he's hitting it at a height that it's really being hit by the, the screen in the front. And then he pins wow. this one. High ball swing coming here from Lopez. Pretty good high recycle touch. Herrera oh, ho, 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 ho. takes the dare to hit the ball down the line. That ball was bounced. <laughs> that was detonated. Oh my goodness, Herrera. Oh. Never That's mind. Better. That's, That's better. Ne I, never I, mind. He's not. He's not gone. He's still here with us. There's still a pulse. That was a, a really important swing for Herrera for many, many reasons. Make the U.S. respect the line. Get himself back into the game. Oh, that ball might have been going out of bounds. Concepcion stabs at it. Good shot there by Lopez. Gets it covered. Lopez again. That ball did not touch the block. Not according to the referee Ooh, there. Oh, okay. Uh, Concepcion actually gave a thumbs up there at the end. Four contacts is the call, and the U.S. is out of that rotation. That was a tough one from there from Cuba because they were hustling. They, they, were, they were hustling nicely. And we're going to get the floor cleaned up over on the Cuban side. At least they're not singing, uh, playing the wipe, the wipe song. song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll probably hear it at some point. Shout outs to Ray Gooden, Chicago guy, uh, on the DJ stand tonight. Thunder Holt, number 12 in red. Back to serve. He served great tonight. Ooh. Not so much there, a little no. underneath that ball. A little flat out the back. It's Cuba now. With the lead, 9-8, a slight, but we've seen this so far. Each of the first two sets, really, Cuba has led early, and the United States has used a couple runs, a couple breakpoint plays in the middle to separate as Thonbeck misses that serve short. Listen to Anderson grunt as he goes to go get this ball. There it is. <laughs> we got Venus Williams out here. <laughs> the moderator is beat me, by the way. The moderator is Everett. <laughs> We've got our eyes on things. You can't sneak one past us. There's a good serve from Lopez. What a pass by Shoji again. Oh. What a block coming from Marlon Yant. Him and Romy Alonso slam the door. I thought Anderson might have some line to swing at there. But a big time block for Cuba to go up by two. And once again there, yeah, a lot of line to swing at for Matt Anderson. And thought maybe that he could beat the seam, but mm -hmm. Alonso came and closed. Looks like the floor is good to go. Uh, Miguel Lopez, th this is a good Cuban performance in this third set with their backs against the wall. They lead 11 to nine, but they cannot fall asleep for even a split second. Cool. Love that oh. repeat set to Anderson, and that swing is absolutely untouchable. He doesn't shy away from going back to the cross court again, but this time goes higher, swings long, goes high over top, back into that back last back square meter of the court. That was perfect. 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 You literally cannot defend that shot. 
Really good pass there by Garcia. Wow, Romeo Alonso pounded on the back one. DeFalco apologizing for not being there a part of that help block. I think that route was pretty awesome and deserved the point for sure. Absolutely, and it was about time for Thondike to give something to Alonso just to remind people, hey, he's still here, he's still a guy. I agree. I always love the middles getting the ball. Nice high blast by TJ DeFalco. Meet me at the top of the antenna and don't be late. He's just, he's so strong, especially with his shoulders, that he can hit so many different shots and show so many different angles. Like you were saying the other day, Everett, some players get a lot of their power from their approach, from mm -hmm. their full body, not TJ. No. Strictly arm. One of the best God-gifted arms in the game. And core. Like, I think that his, his core and his ability to whip his body is the big thing. Free oh, ball chance here. We go. here. Down Anderson the line. down the line, taking that space left. Yeah. And the United States have tied it up at 12. That's just to show, hey, guys, you can give me that line. I'm going to swing it. And you know what? You can block, block the cross, too, and I'm still going to score on you. You don't think that a converted outside hitter, a right-handed guy who made his career hitting on the left, you don't think he can hit wrist away? Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah, you knew when that one was contacted. Yeah. <laughs> it was contacted. It's, it's definitely that half-hand, half-arm contact we've, on that We've one. all been there. Yes. A, lot, a lot of wrist contact. Here is Herrera. See if we can, he can get himself going from the service line here. Do not serve Shoji, whatever you do. Uh, well, that's the worst thing to do. Probably I don't want to do that. Yeah. Bottom of the net, maybe uh, not a great choice either. Uh, uh, comment in the chat from Katrina in Spanish, which I can read. The reception of the United States is almost perfect. She's absolutely right. And that is directly correlated with how good the American offense has been. Nice pop there from Christensen. Wow, okay. that is such a good swing by Marlon Yant. That is such a good deep swing by Marlon Yant. You can see the, a good crossover move defensively, defensively by Russell and Shoji, but nothing they could do. Yeah, and that was just a really a low, a low contact underneath the block, thumb down, cross court. Well done by Yan. Now he's back at the baseline. Couple service errors in a row here I'm, for Cuba. I'm really hoping to see Cuba just turn up the intensity of their serving a little bit and start putting the Team USA under some duress. Even um, if you continue to miss them, because it seems like they're missing him right now, even without hitting serves as hard as they can. If you're going to miss him, you might as well really go for it. Speaking of as hard as you can. Okay. Nice find. Okay, a couple back ones from Cuba the last couple points. Thondike in this middle part of the set has gone first to Alonso and now to Concepcion. Both of them have six points. I like the way that Christian Thondike has played tonight. I Me really too. do. I know it's not often consistent match to match, but tonight it's been good. Nice set by Christensen. Russell is dug. Great chance here for Lopez off the block of Anderson and out of bounds. It, I really liked how much urgency there was from Cuba in that transition play. You don't get many opportunities like that against USA, so when you do, you need to pounce on them. And just like that, John Spraw calls a timeout as Cuba leads 16-14. Absolutely right. You get a pretty good transition chance off a good defensive play by Yonder Garcia. Pounce, capitalize, and they did. 16-14, we knew this was not going to be an easy match for anybody on either side. The no. United States, if they want to win this group, they are going to have to earn it against a very good Cuban team with renewed energy under Jesus Cruz Lopez. Yeah, absolutely. And let's, let's be honest, though. I, I, we've seen, I guess, different versions of this Cuban team, but I think it's its best when it's, it's player-led almost. You know, that's why Simone is so effective because he's able to be almost a player coach. Uh, we saw that switch happen at the 2019 North Seca Championship in Winnipeg uh, when Cuba won. Concepcion out of the timeout. A pretty easy serve. Russell oh, is oh. stuck straight down by Thondike. What a move. That was an emphatic play coming out of the timeout called by the USA. Wow. That was a Big time move by the young Cuban setter. Only 22 years of age going up and playing with the best in the world in Aaron Russell. 
Oh yeah, TJ DeFalco gets this crowd on its feet. That is such a pretty run out of the back row. Great pass there by Shoji to get things going. And you're right, just set wonderfully in the gap. And the, the speed of the American Vic is just, it's undetectable. Good pass, excellent pass. Ooh, Lopez Ooh. a little early there. Great chance for Team USA. Russell quickly in transition. Oh. What a stab by Garcia. Lopez, Lopez down the line. That is a rare missed opportunity in transition for the United States. Credit to Yonder Garcia. Absolutely, and you're starting to feel that momentum shift right now, Rob. USA is starting to feel a little bit more, or sorry, Cuba starting to feel a little bit more confident, and USA a little bit more tentative. 18-15, John Spira is lurking by the down official. Is he going to call another timeout? No, not yet. Oh, and hey, there's Sondike. Look at the Cuban setter taking some command. And now John Spira is going to call that timeout as Cuba all of a sudden explodes to a four-point lead. And let's see where that started. Wow. We were tied 14-14, Rob. 14-14 to 19-15, a 5-1 Five, run one for run. Cuba. Miguel Lopez, a weapon in transition, got two kills in that stretch. I mean, I am seriously impressed by this Cuban effort down two sets to none. They could have easily laid down and died. That's probably what the Cuba of old would mm -hmm. have done, not this team. That they are. I think they're putting the North American zone and kind of the world on notice right now Absolutely. and how they're fighting through the adversity against an incredible American team. 100%. And in this Cuban team, much like USA and Canada and Mexico, are all gearing up for the FIVB Olympic, Olympic qualifying qualifiers. tournament that just happens in just a few weeks' time. And as Thondike gets us underway, he opts for the float serve out of the timeout. Very interesting. Wow. Aaron Russell down the line punishes Thondike for that service choice. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like the safe play, but the other part of me is just like, bro, you just served the ace. Go back there and pin another one. Just the guy who's not that confident coming, coming out of no. a timeout. Or, so so Sparos Or that's a coach's, rhythm. that may be a coach's thing. Perhaps. You know, if your coach is like, hey, you're, you're staying down, you're just floating for this one, you got to do it. Good pass by Garcia there in system. Oh. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Jesus Herrera. You don't often see Herrera pin one on the left side like that, but he had the opening. He had the space cross court. Whoa. Just and that, that's a lefty on the left side too. Ooh, Alonso fell down. Yant still made the play on offense. Oh, so he lost a shoe. Romeo Alonso's shoe is on the floor. No way. No, no, Garcia. You're not getting a replay just because you lost a shoe. The audio machine is beeping. Can you ask Michael why it's doing that? I don't know if I've ever seen a middle blocker just lose a shoe in no, the middle of a that's like crazy. that before. That was nuts. Alonso's still talking to the up official about it while he shoves that shoe back on his foot. I mean, no, you're not going to get a replay just because your shoe is on the floor. Cinderella lost her shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Great comment. Great comment. <laughs> Aaron Russell misses that serve after the brief delay. 21-17 Cuba. Alonso back to serve now with two shoes. That's good. Two shoes are recommended. It's either two or none. You know, it's one of those.
Check, check. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our audio should be back. Sorry about that for a split second there. We had to change the battery. We did. We had to change the battery in the audio unit. Garrett Mwangatutia is in to serve. It is 18 serving 21. Garrett served great off the bench in the first set, and they need him right here. Wow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Javier Concepcion. Love that swing. What a bomb. And a great set by Thondike as well. I'm continuing to be impressed with this kid. Absolutely. Ronnie, you're going to have to let us know what you think of Thondike in this match af afterwards. Now Herrera goes back, and he has a chance now to ice this for Cuba. Let's see if he can put her in a tough one. Nope. Oh, another error for Herrera from the baseline. Big celebration from Shoji. He knows how significant that was. And look at this. Tim McIntosh, number six in dark blue, is into the match at Libero for the United States in the defensive role. We saw this from the U.S. last night. Interesting. It's interesting that he's being brought in at this point. That's Christensen right at Lopez. What a block okay. by DeFalco again. What a move by TJ DeFalco. And once again, when the USA needs, when the, when the USA needs a point, they go to their block. Time out Cuba, another momentum changing block by TJ DeFalco. But now the score is in a different position than what we've seen the first two sets. It is, and now it's a race to it's a race to five here. Cuba's got that two-point advantage, and all they need to come out is, is have one good pass, one good set, one good swing, get the timeout, get that ball back. But this this point here is crucial. USA so far with 10 blocks tonight. 10. Huge, huge serve right here from Micah Christensen. Good Pretty pass. good pass by Yant. Herrera missed it out of bounds long. Just barely beyond the baseline. It's a one point game. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that, USA is looking at a potential 3-0 win here. You have to get this ball if you're Cuba right here. Yeah, oh, there we go. What an angle. That was nasty. That was emphatic. Wow. That was a, hey, you should have given me the ball at last. <laughs> that is gnarly. That's, what is he? two meters and two he might be taller than that high angle heat coming right at you in a crucial moment 23 21 this crowd is getting a little into it here we got i just heard a little usa chant the united states need to, need to make a comeback aaron russell out of the back no row again one home what a run there by micah christensen and aaron russell and that, that gap that they're creating there on that big play is just perfect. And I mean, why not? Holt has been a weapon all night long. You have to respect him. And it's, it's really pick your poison right now with Team USA. This is the point of the tournament so far right here. Oh, a change up. Concepcion. Good scoop by Anderson. Good one-handed play by DeFalco. Russell's going to have an out-of-system swing for the tie. That ball is touched by the Cuban block. Oh, wow. Oh, but mishandled by Lopez. Oh, Cuba cannot believe it. They want a four-contact call. No challenges. I, I don't necessarily disagree with them, Rob. Oh, but my goodness. If that touched the block, it was barely. It was just a sliver, but just like that, we're all tied up at 23 apiece. And yes, of Time course, out, Cuba. you're Cuba and you're uh, Jesus Cruz Lopez, you need to call that timeout right now and just settle down your sideline. This is a test of new head coach Jesus Cruz Lopez. What can he tell his team to get them to get past that no call mentally? Then that was, you know what, it, it not only was the no call, but it was the free ball mispass there by Lopez to actually end that, that point. That was also the killer there. 
And it's just those. What th a turn of events. That was, wow. Like, we, we, I was gearing up for a fourth set here, and now, who knows, we're all tied up at 23s with one of the most lethal, lethal third servers in the world out there in TJ DeFalco on the baseline. This is now, th this, this situation for DeFalco is completely different. He put yeah. that last ball in to give his team a chance. Now, this is killer mode 100%. for TJ DeFalco. Pin this one. Yep. Wow. Now, just a little bit long to give Cuba a set point. So we're going to see the effectiveness of that timeout right now. And Concepcion heading back to serve. M maybe would have been a good time to do a serving sub. Who knows? But they're going to go with the middle in the back row. Set point Cuba, their first of the match. Christensen to Anderson. No. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Somehow brought back. Oh. Aaron Russell. Threw the block and down. I don't know what Cuba's complaining about there. That was an amazing, amazing scramble that they made to keep the ball alive. But then they were throwing all their hands in the air. Well, for the first time this tournament, Rob, we are going into overtime here in set number three of match number nine. First to get two points clear takes the set. Could be a 3-0 win for the United States and a Group B championship or we could be having more volleyball here for you on a Thursday evening. Lopez against three blockers, great touch. Holt is there for the lead. Aaron Russell wiped off oh, the block. Up. Good play by Herrera. Yes, oh! that's the back row. Wow, what a play there by Cuba. That pick up by Herrera on the right side. Save that play. And then Yant coming through the back row. Not only was it a fantastic dig by Herrera, but Thondike able to spot Yant, or yeah, Yant coming through the pipe was unreal. Outstanding play by Jesus Herrera. Now Cuba with another set point. Right side to Anderson. Anderson slowed slow down, down again. This is it. Cuba's best chance right here. Yant's out of the back row, through the block and down. Cuba has won the third set, and we've got a ball game on our hands, and ladies and gentlemen. For the first time in this tournament, Rob, we are going to a fourth, well, fourth set. Oh, my goodness. It took us nine matches. It took us nine matches, but we were able to get it done. Wow. What composure there by Cuba to be able to, be able to stay with it. It looks like they had thrown it all the way, but what a big play at the end there by the entire Cuban team. Great play in transition. And just to get past that no call and four contacts mentally, again, the old Cuba crumbles in mm -hmm. that moment. This is the new Cuba. This is, uh, this is a different team, and this is a scary team, and this match is not over. This match is not over yet. We're going to a fourth set. Thank goodness. I'm, Thank goodness. I'm happy. Me too. This game, was too. this game was too good to end it right away. It, I would have felt robbed a little bit. Me too. You know? And I no. think both of these teams are enjoying this moment. They're, they they didn't come to Charleston, West Virginia to not be tested. This is the preparation that they need right, right now for a few weeks' time. Right? This is that back and forth. This is that battle that they need to get them ready. And you know what? When you look at the stats of this game, it's, it's, I mean, only six errors for Team USA. Two errors per set. Is, Attack errors is, what is it, 35 for 61? Yeah. <laughs> they have been, their, their serving errors has, have been up there, 15, 17 for uh, Cuba. But you know what? This has been a pretty error-free game all around. This is an extremely good game of volleyball. And we've alluded to it. Let's, let's go out and give the people some detail on the Olympic qualification yes, tournament. Yes, yes, yes. September 30th through October 8th. Three pools of eight. All you have, it's a, each pool is a straight up round robin. Each team will play the other seven teams in their pool across nine days. That's ridiculously demanding. Uh, Cuba in pool A in Brazil against Brazil, Italy, Iran, Ukraine, Germany, the Czech Republic, and Qatar. Very difficult pool. Mm -hmm. The United States will be in Japan against Japan, Slovenia, Serbia, Turkey, Tunisia, Egypt, and Finland. Those last three teams, weaker uh, in the general scope of things. You might, you might be able to throw Turkey in there. Is it, with their, uh, maybe their, their, their last four teams. <laughs> Turkey not doing so hot over in Europe right now, but Serbia, Slovenia, Japan, all good teams. The last pool, just to, for the record, is China in China. Poland, Argentina, the Netherlands, Canada, and Mexico from Norseka, Belgium, and Bulgaria. So the top two teams out of each of those pools of eight will get straight up bids to the Paris Olympics in 2024. So this tournament in front of us, a big deal to be the champions of North America. But 
all these coaches have the, the, the Olympic qualifying tournaments think, at the front of their minds. I think first and foremost, USA is one of the favorites to, to win their pool, no doubt about it. I think Cuba low key, they have an easier pool, or they, they not so much an easier pool, there's a lot of evenness, but there's only Italy in that pool. Brazil, right. There's Brazil as well, but Brazil is not the Brazil that we're used to seeing. Cuba's already beat them this year. Yes, they have. Cuba, if they can play consistent, they have a shot of taking that. It's going to be a little bit tougher for Canada and Mexico, I think. That um, pool is hard. That, that pool is hard. You've got Poland in that pool, the number one team in the world, and then a really, really dangerous Argentina right now. Argentina, I mean, if you don't know, just won the South American Championship for the first time. Brazil was 33 for 33 before before this edition, and Argentina beat them 3-0. And we've talked about it on the 9x9, Rob. On paper, Argentina is a better team right now. Than Brazil, yeah. I agree. I think Argentina is in a place to be the best team in South America for a very long time. We are ready for the first time this tournament for set number four. Something that we haven't seen, something that I'm excited to see. Miguel Lopez was a big part of that late push. As uh, Miguel Lopez waits for a volleyball here. Miguel Lopez, a big part of that late push for Cuba to get them over the finish line in overtime in the third. Set number four, ready to go. The United States leads two to one. Perfect pass, but David Smith on a pretty much open net situation overcuts it out of bounds. Cuba on the board first. A rare mistake there from the veteran number 20 in red. Lopez again, you don't want to give this guy too many chances to serve. Russell threw the block, that ball scooped by Lopez briefly, but underneath the net. And a perfect swing by Aaron Russell, who will go back to serve now. Aaron Russell, 30 years of age, two meters and five out of Penn State University. I, I, from what I'm hearing, we, we've seen Mark Pavlik, the coach of Penn State, we've seen him here this week. And we understand that there will be a crew coming down from Happy Valley for the weekend's games to check out Aaron Russell, Matt Anderson, Max Holtz. The Penn State alumni crew here this weekend. That would be good to see a Penn State contingent on hand. Russell back to serve. Tim McIntosh is still in at Libero for the United States when they are serving. Something that we've really never seen the USA do because of how good Eric Shoji is. Some teams do this. They'll use one Libero for reception and use the other Libero to play defense when their team is serving. It really just shows you how much faith John Sparrow has in the defensive ability of Tim McIntosh, and for good reason. Oh, look at that roll shot from DeFalco. Thondike is all over it, and he puts it on a platter for Lopez, who takes the attacking option on the option ball. I love that he swung on that one. Me on too. Me too. I think it's a great decision. you got to establish that before you can try and get fancy and set the ball. Here is Alonzo. Cuba leads three to one, and this is a brand new match of volleyball right here. I like Great that serve. serve. Wow, oh. what a block by Concepcion. Yant there as well, and that was all service pressure. Anderson was the only attacker that was really an option on that play. That, uh, that serve is the best serve we've seen from Alonzo all tournament. Hands down, without a doubt. Where does he go this time? Cuba leads four to one. Perfect pass there by Russell. Quick ball oh. to DeFalco. Exploding down the line. And uh, this man, TJ DeFalco, is responsible for a couple million YouTube views on this very channel of a place similar to that from earlier this summer. He's lethal cross court. He's lethal down the line. There was so little room for him to swing that at. And even then, Thondike was sit standing still there, but the pace at which he, he hits that ball is just unreal. Really good pass by Lopez. Oh, good, good diving containing block. touch by Christensen. Oh! One-handed feed, not in the perfect position. Now a killer chance in transition, but Garcia is there. Ooh, that's not the greatest set there, but oh Yant! Oh my goodness! How did he deal with that? Whoa! That was... 
I'm, I'm still a little speechless. How did he even hit that ball that was so far off the net, so far outside the antenna? That is just supreme confidence there by Marlon Yant to take that swing at that time in that position. Wow. Ooh, off the head of Concepcion and recycled. Now Holt is dug by Garcia. Christensen is dug as well on the overpass swing. Nice high flat shot by Yant to recycle. Concepcion! Oh, 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 oh. Cuba! Oh my goodness. Javier Concepcion, that was filthy. Whoa. Whoa. And, the, and an amazing scrambling rally by Cuba just to keep the ball alive and generate that chance. It's 6-2. to two. Easy serve from Herrera. Wow. No stopping that from TJ DeFalco. Just beautiful. It's, 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 it's just brilliant to see this man identify small spaces and explode the ball through them with vision and talent. Ball missed out of bounds there by Christensen from the, from the service line. And it has been all Cuba so far in this set. And uh, the the chat is saying right now, where's the timeout? And that's not a that's not a bad a bad question right now. Is the USA? This is the first time I've seen the United States on their heels. Obviously, all tournament, but really kind of all summer. Yeah. Oh, Anderson, a very easy shot off speed. Lopez to make him pay Lopez. off the head of the block and out of bounds. Just such a swing there from Lopez, and that's two fantastic swings out of system. And looks like there's something up with Herrera right now, as I'm not sure. It looks like he's grabbing at his knee a little bit. Yeah, Herrera's got his hands on his knees. He's taking a minute. He will... They're going to call well, the, a timeout. The United States is going to call a timeout, it looks like, and okay. give Herrera a chance to deal with whatever he's dealing with. But what a start for Cuba in this fourth set. It's 8-3. to three. There's uh, calls in the chat for me to rile up Herrera, but I don't think that would be too <laughs> accepted. I'll ask you, uh, please don't do that. Because uh, <laughs> for the first time, as an, I, am, I mean... Oh, I'm, I'm going to be transparent with the people here. I'm a gigantic American fan. And I think I'm, they know that. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. I'm scared of this Cuban team. I'm scared for the first time this tournament, as you all should be. Like, this Cuban team is playing great. We have, uh, And now I, we have Ronnie Cuban Spike chirping in the chat. We can't have it's that. It's all capitals. Oh, He's in all caps right that. now. He's, he's probably a bottle of wine deep right now and just feeling it. Uh-oh. Marlon Yance out of this timeout with a five-point Cuban lead. All the pressure now on the United States to make a comeback. Easy serve there. Beautiful oh, oh, oh. run. Aaron Russell out of the back row. That that serve actually passed by Matt Anderson. Yes. Who comes in and they have a four-person serve receive in that rotation against Yant. And why not? Why not? And Matt Anderson is known to pass dimes at times. Um, and even though he's the opposite, doesn't mean that he's not available to pass. And when with Yant can bring the heat. One sure. three Champions Leagues in a row is an outside hitter. Pretty easy serve there from DeFalco. Concepcion. This man has come alive and he's brought Cuba with him. He's just getting more and more confident out here right now. Remember the stakes of this match. The winner of this match gets tomorrow off and gets an easy semifinal. The loser of this match has to play tomorrow, and then we'll have to go through Canada in the semis. And Romeo Alonso just it put just down continues. another overpass. It just continues for Cuba, and Cuba's one of those teams when they can ride the wave, they're the best surfers in the world. It's 10-4. to 4. Yes. What is going on in John Sparrow's mind right now, I wonder. At one point, you start making some substitutions and getting some other guys in and maybe providing just a just a breather for your starters. I was actually just thinking the same thing. Maybe uh, not that the middle blockers are playing poorly, but no. a middle change can sometimes just bring a change in energy. And Jeff Jendrick, now number four in red, into the front court for the United States is going to try to do just that. Max Holt back to serve, five-point hole for the Americans. Oh, just out of bounds for Max close. Holt. Good call, definitely out of bounds. 
Thondike back to serve, who also deserves a lot of credit for this Cuban revitalization. He's been uh, he's been fantastic tonight, through and through. This to be honest, this is this is a very complete game by Cuba so far. Oh, another rocket that of ball a serve is still alive. Free ball chance here for Cuba, sent into the <laughs> rafters by DeFalco. Good what touch. a block. Jeff Jendrick, welcome to the game, to the jungle cat. He's all over Marlon yet. Could that be a momentum turning play for the USA? That was huge. Garcia even jump set the first touch to speed up that offense just a little bit. I mean, I I thought the choice to go to Thondike was, a, or, or sorry, to Yant in the pipe was a good one, but it just didn't work out that time for Cuba. And a little bit of energy now for the USA. Beautiful pass by Lopez. Alonso off the head of Jendrick and out of bounds. He was all over that, just an unlucky deflection. Absolutely, and a little bit more juju here for the USA now after that play. They're still down by six, so they're gonna need to start coming back now, and there's a man at the baseline who could really stop that. Okay, that will help, and it's gonna be the next probably 10 points total where the United States is gonna have to decide, do we have a chance to come back in this set or are we gonna give this, the starters a break for set five? It's a five point game right now, break points needed. Oh. What a block oh. by DeFalco oh. again! That How many times has he gotten Herrera one-on-one? -on -one? His hand movement on that was superb. That is his fifth block of the match, but he showed line and then took the seam. That was some of the highest level of blocking there by TJ DeFalco. I talked earlier about DeFalco innovating the game and blocking with those mature moves that he makes. The United States seems like they have some life now, and that's two blocks in a row. DeFalco and Jendrick have shut down Herrera. This is gut check time for Cuba, and we have a substitution. There we go, Miguel Gutierrez coming in. He actually wasn't here for the first match. His, his daughter was sick back home, so we hope everything is, is good back home from him. But Gutierrez, back in the junior days with this team, he was the guy. And since an injury, he hasn't been as, as effective, but he can still pin the ball. So. Let's see him as he comes in here. Gutierrez, number 10 in white, 26 years of age, Ooh. 1 meter 97. A right-handed opposite, got a kind of a different look for the U.S. to deal with compared to Herrera. Two back-to-back -back blocks there by the USA. They still trail by four, but they've injected this game with a little bit of life. See if Alonso goes back down the line towards Russell with this serve. He does, just barely gets over the tape. Look at that one-handed set from Christensen. Good read by Shoji. He's all over it, and Jendrick available in transition. That is high-level ball from Team USA. And now it'll be really important to see how Cuba can withstand this Team USA pressure. The momentum has shifted once again. We've seen it go back and forth tonight, Rob, but Already their body language on that, like even Romeo Alonso reacting a little bit negatively. Jendrick's first serve of the match. Good float. Lopez oh is shut down goodness. out of the back row to Falco again. And let's see here if Cruz Lopez decides to call another timeout yes, and he will. does as they USA has seen their lead shrink from 12-6 down to 13-11 from six to just two and that steamroller that the USA is riding is starting to go again. I said those next 10 points were going to decide this set maybe this match and now we've got a ball game on our hands again. The United States has forced Gutierrez into service for Herrera. They've blocked some balls there within two and it is anybody's game. <laughs> reading the reading the chat just makes me laugh. Me too. <laughs> it's, it's it's so much fun. Chat love, is very active. Let's love having you guys way. here and experiencing this with us. Having the chat just makes it so much more fun. Jeff Jendrick has been a spark plug off the bench for John Sparaw. That is a really bad service error. There's just no other way to say it. That's a little tough. That's two 
uh, missed serves coming out of timeouts right now for Team USA. As now we're going to see Miguel Gutierrez back to serve for Cuba. Pretty good first rip there by Gutierrez. DeFalco quickly off the block of Concepcion and out of bounds. Back to a two-point game. De DeFalco's done messing around right now. Like oh, yeah. he, he, has, he is definitely bringing it to play right now. He's 11 for 22 with three errors. That's a very, very good performance, about 40% efficiency. Oh, another really bad service error. Two float serves missed in a row by the United States. Not good. And especially, like, they need to be a little bit more aggressive with that, especially in this scenario here. As we're going to see that four-man serve receive on Yant, and it's Anderson what once again. What an adjustment that by Anderson and punched to the floor by Max Holt. That is an amazing passing play by an opposite Matt Anderson. I mean, let's be honest. He's, he's, not, he's, a, he's yeah. not a real opposite <laughs> out here. It's like back in the day when I hung out with Gortos Kirk for that day, and I was saying, oh, it's great, your receiver. He's like... I'm I'm an attacking receiver. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the opposite of that. Shout outs to Kirk. What a legend. Another good serve there by DeFalco. And Marlon Yant is locked in right now. First swing from Gutierrez oh. through the block. Stabbed at by McIntosh. Couldn't quite come up with it. Timmy Mack got the touch, and you can tell he's frustrated. It just didn't get the bounce that, that he wanted, but he was there. That, uh, I know he wants that one back. I, I know that he'll dig the next one. Concepcion with a three-point lead has been a really big part of this Cuban comeback in this match. Perfect pass by Shoji as usual. Oh, Alonso dig. with a good touch. Gutierrez out of the back row is scooped by DeFalco. Anderson down the line and with out a of bounds. Miss. That looking is a for the touch break. There, but none given. Tough break there for the United Ooh. States. That was a good look in, in, in transition and a rare unforced error from Anderson. If we go to a fifth, I'm going to remember that point right there when USA had an opportunity to come back by one. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Ho, ho, ho. Repeat, it's a hold. Not going to get stopped two times in a row. Max Holt with his second point of the set. And he this has would, been having a night. He eight has. Eight points overall. And this would be Nine a actually. very good time for him to continue that from the service line. This Absolutely. is a big moment. Big serving time for Team USA. As we, there, well, there's the wipe song. There's the wipe song, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> so goofy. Here's Holt. Nice pressure. Three-man block opportunity. Good block. Garcia is underneath it. Lopez again. High. Wow. Look at him pound that Miguel ball high hands. Lopez. First one, he just swung away at it right into the block. But the second one, such a good high-level shot. High off the hands, out of bounds. And no one's going to be able to dig that. Not with as hard as he can hit it. Thondike back to serve. Four-point Cuban lead. It was as many as six. It was as little as two. This game has just been so back and forth. It's just two, two very good teams battling it out. Gonna get our towel girl back to her correct position. She must be pretty tired now. <laughs> She's been running around for, for a little bit here. Great pass. The jungle oh, cat, oh, oh. Jeff Jendrick. And, and there's one area that I think USA has dominated tonight, and that's in the middle. Alonso hasn't been as effective. I've found Concepcion has been fantastic, however. I, I actually really like that substitution from John Sparrow. It wasn't like David Smith was playing poorly, but sometimes when you change a middle, you get a little more energy. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of a different mental approach to blocking. Just a bit of a look, a bit of an injection as, oh. Team USA is serving here as they're trying to come back has been, it's been hard. It's been hard to watch. 21 errors all throughout the match. But so far in this set, six errors, no aces for mm. Team USA. That is an absolute killer. Big difference. Nice reaction there by DeFalco. What a block touch by Gutierrez. 
to Falco out of the back row through the block of Alonso and underneath the center line. Great set choice there from Christensen. And now we see our Garrett Wangatutia, but this time in for Aaron Russell. Very interesting. Here to bring a little bit of, like, Russell hasn't been serving well tonight, right? Uh, yeah, I think he had one ace in, like, the first set, maybe. But uh, Garrett has proven that he is very capable off the bench, especially in a passing role. See what he can do here. Down by three. Perfect dig off the block touch. Micah Christensen! What a stuff block against Alonso one on one. I was just about to say that wasn't maybe the perfect dig no, there by Mwangu Tia. Until it was. Until it was. <laughs> it was it was the perfect dig for Micah Christensen to get that stuff stuff block and flex on him. That's what you get when you have a six foot six setter. Huge break point for the United States. Oh, another great serve by Mwangu Tia. That oh. swing by Marlon Yance is absolutely world class. That's high level for sure. World class. You know, that's why he's won two Scudettos, and he's had a big part in both of them. And now Aaron Russell back in. Uh, so that was just a service substitution. Garrett done a good job in, the, on, in that role in the three sets that we've seen him. Vamos, Iceland. <laughs> Oh, going oh, to the hybrid. Oh, wow. I, I like that, that decision. I like that decision, but I just need a bit better of execution there. And as who's heading back to so serve Dave right now? So Dave Smith is going to come back in for Jendrick. So Jendrick is now done for the set. Wow. He cannot come back in again. It'll be Dave Smith to serve and play the middle the rest of the way if his rotation comes back. That's an interesting decision there from Sprawl. We saw the USA do a similar thing in the World Championship last year. They would start with Taylor Averill, then bring Jendrick in, then bring Averill back in. Oh, what, oh, a, what wow. an incredible reaction by DeFalco. And now he's going to get a swing. Yes, oh, my he goodness, is. he can do it all. Unbelievable. Just give me six TJ DeFalco clones and make a team. How do you even make that play off of your own block touch underneath the ref stand to react to that and scoop it is insane. It's that insane uh, skill. TJ DeFalco continues to surpass my expectations. He continues to prove, like, to show me things that he can do that I didn't think he could do, or were that even were even possible. That was incredible. That's play. basically an impossible play. The, 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 he <laughs> like, he may have just sense. broken the laws of physics. He did something similar in the VNL finals. I can't remember if it was against Italy or against Poland, but it was a similar play. He got a weird block touch. He scooped it with one hand and then came back and killed the ball. I I do not know of another player on the planet who can make that play. That was incredible. And just like that, the U.S. trails by only one. And this has been, it's incredible that they've gotten here, Rob. They, they, given how many times they were down by six, and then they were down by two, and then they were down by four. And it's just been such a yo yo of a set. What a fantastic match this is. Another good serve there by Smith. Oh, can oh, they pick that can up? come back. Yes. Smith is there. DeFalco with a hittable chance. He wins the joust. Herrera is back in, by the way. Yance high flat. Russell is there. The United States are going to have a swing for the tie. DeFalco is kept alive. Yance again high flat is dug by Smith. This has to be it for DeFalco. Roll! Oh! Position one corner. And, and we're the all United tied up. The United States bench is on its feet. We're tied at 20. There we go. What a play. We had David Smith making multiple digs. Multiple digs by Garcia on the Cuban side. But to finish it off, the man of the set himself, TJ DeFalco, saw an opening and he went for it. That was a one-on-one -on -one battle. Marlon Yant versus TJ DeFalco head-to-head -head, and DeFalco won it. Smith again. What a great substitution choice by John Spira, by the way. Concepcion you know we threw the block of Holtz. I was questioning why, like, Jendrick's been doing so well. Why bring in Smith? And that's exactly why. You want that veteran presence on the floor there. You want him on the baseline. And then it's looking like things could go a bit longer this set. You want him if he comes around again. Jesus Herrera is back in at opposite for Cuba. Oh, what a serve. What a pass, though. DeFalco oh. again over rotates and missed it out of bounds. That is a big break point for Cuba. Yep. Call a timeout there from Spra, but you know what, Rob? Regardless of the way, if, if Cuba does end up taking this set, uh, 
the U.S. has built a lot of momentum and they've brought themselves back into this game emotionally and mentally so far here. But this next few points is going to be a race to five. And this, this next few points is going to have a lot of implications on this tournament, on this entire summer, maybe on this whole Olymp Olympic qualification picture. There's a lot on the line here. The, the winner the of this match is completely in the driver's seat to go to the gold medal match of this tournament. And the loser of this match is going to have a very, very difficult road. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just, just you have to play another match and you have to play another VNL team in the semifinals. One round earlier than you would have otherwise. Big serve here for Jesus Herrera of Cuba out of the timeout. Out of bounds long, one point game. And now you have Micah Christensen going to the back row with Matt Anderson coming to the front. This is where, this is a fantastic rotation for Team USA to be in if they want to make up this one point here. This is the time for Matt Anderson to have his fingerprints on this match. Mm He's -hmm. been very quiet in this fourth set. Good serve there by Christensen. Yeah, oh. what a good high swing off the fingertips of the block. Just beautifully executed against two six foot ten guys up in front of him. That was. Yant has been impressive this game. To, to, to say very the least. Good. And I'm, I'm very good. I, uh, it's kind of a relief because so many times I've seen him live and he's just been average. Now, uh, but now he's been unreal. As he Four. puts in another good serve. Oh, oh no! No! What a terrible unforced error by Max Holt. Very uncharacteristic. Had a wide open net, really, and he pulls it down short. That has been such an uncharacteristic misplay there by Team USA. Only their fourth error of the set in attacking anyways. Or sorry, there was their fifth. As we're getting the wipe crew to, w to wipe it up here. Set point Cuba to force us into a tiebreaker, 24-21. Oh, the half speed. I like that repeat yeah. set to Holt a lot. Go right back to him, build that confidence. And now none other than TJ DeFalco heads back to serve, and he has been dynamic so far this fourth set. It's still set point Cuba, but this is a, an interesting situation. Very much so. Got to serve in, obviously. And nope. he doesn't. We are going five. Cuba with their backs against the wall, down two sets to none, have brought it all the way back, and we are going to a tiebreaker, Everett. Yeah, that's that's huge. I mean, if you had told me this uh, in the second set there, I, I would have been surprised, but Cuba really battling here to pull off a potential a reverse sweep, but the USA looked much better in the second half of that set, Rob than they did in the first half. Much and better. And they've, they've built a little bit of, of momentum here, but you can kind of feel the nerves around. Like, it, it's, you know, I'm feeling it too. I know what's on the line oh, for my team yeah. as well. So, <laughs> um, absolutely. But Cuba, to their credit, they've, they've forced this, right? Totally. The USA hasn't slipped as much as the USA has really started to push back on the USA style of play at the moment. I'm, I'm very impressed with this Cuban team. I, I really am. The, the lead that they got out to in that fourth set and then able to, to maintain it and be the more clutch team after point 20. These are things that we would have never seen from the old Cuba. The new Cuba is a team that is going to be more difficult to beat mentally. And that is scary for everybody else in the world. Yeah, absolutely, especially those of us here in the Norseka zone, <laughs> right? Because this, this year, after, after this qualification process for the Olympics, they will be going back to a zonal model, right? Where some of the, the, the qualification will be happening through, or like, per zone. Um, and I mean, luckily for Cuba and Canada, the USA will be automatically qualified for the 2028 Olympics. Correct, which has opened some things up for both of those teams. What a match, dude. <laughs> what a match. What it, a match. Back and forth, some fantastic <laughs> plays on both sides. Uh, we are we're really in for a treat here. I feel very lucky to be able to be here commentating this match with you because it has been phenomenal to watch. This has been a treat. First to 15. I assume this teams will change sides at 8. We wouldn't know because we haven't had one of these yet. 
and uh, a lot on the line. Winner has the day off tomorrow and will have, in all likelihood, a very easy semifinal. Loser plays tomorrow and then will, in all likelihood, have to take on Canada in the semis on Saturday. Yeah, if they win, they will have to take on yes. Canada in the semis on, on Saturday. So there's a lot on the line here. And so far, Cuba has been the better team off the hop. They have been. They have. They have been better earlier on in the sets. So let's see here if the U if USA can use some of that momentum from the end of that set and really turn it on. Another question, uh, there, there's, there's no question at all about who the Cuban starting lineup is going to be. This this crew, particularly Yant and Lopez, have brought this team back from the brink of three dongage. And now then here we are in a tie break. But the question is for the United States, do they make any moves? Do you start Jeff Jendrick? Do you use Garrett Mwangatutia in some fashion? Like what? What sort of wheels are spinning in John Spraw's head right now? And it's sure enough, it is Jeff Jendrick on the floor first. I see him over there. He might even be the first server. All right, let's see how it goes. Jendrick brought, it's, it's, it's interesting how much, oh, yeah, no, Jendrick is off, but. So Jendrick is the second starting middle next to Max Holt and Miguel Lopez, which is a good choice for Cuba, will be the first server. First to 15 wins Group B. We couldn't have asked for a better match here tonight, Rob. This has been absolutely fantastic. And now it's a race for to 15 to see who's going to finish this off. Oh, ho, ho, the dribbler to start here for Lopez. Christensen is underneath it. DeFalco identifies that Alonso pulled his hands away and makes him pay. Once again, I've said it before, but every time, like, DJ DeFalco continues to surpass my expectations. What a match he's had. A big reason why the United States had a chance in that fourth set. And if, if eight points in that fourth set, it's ridiculous. And if the U.S. is going to win this match, TJ will have a lot to do with it. Oh. Nice shot there by Yance. The delay and the pound down the line. And you know what? If Cuba's going to win this, win this match, Yant is going to have a lot to do with that. Absolutely. 22 years of age. 18 points, 15 for 33 attacking, and three blocks. Incredible. Getting a little bit of chance out of here from the crowd. Is Anderson what on What a the scoop by Alonso. Wow. And now Herrera, Herrera off the block and out of bounds. Amazing defense from Romy Alonso. You know, he stood in there on a few of them, and he's taken the hit, and that time was the perfect time for Hidden pull out his first real dig of this match. That was massive. That was awesome. What a scoop by a middle blocker. Love to see it. And, like, not only was it up, it was, like, it was settable. Like, mm -hmm. it immediately turned into a transition kill. Cuba takes the lead. Good pass by DeFalco. He'll get DeFalco it right back. through the block of Concepcion for the tie. Alonso can't believe it. He thought that Concepcion might have gotten there. That was just the things TJ DeFalco is doing. He gets down, like passes that ball, and immediately gets up. The confidence that Christensen needs to have to give him that ball right back is incredible. The amazing comment in the chat, having two shoes on helps with digging. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Big serve there by Great Christensen. Great pass. Textbook. Herrera is just in, he's in video game mode right now. You know, press triangle for a shot off the hands, and you're, you're getting in the sweet spot every single time. Perfect swing by Marlon yet. No defense can pick that up. Here's Herrera serving. Pretty good ball by Shoji. Anderson tipped over. Garcia is there. And oh, Yance oh, off oh. the block and out of bounds. The United States asking for a double contact. They're not going to get it. Yeah. Another tentative play from Matt Anderson. Not another tentative play from Matt Anderson, but also not the prettiest set there from Thondike. No, it did not come out very well. We will, we will remember that, that setting of the standard as far as ball handling goes. 
Herrera with Great another pass big by serve. Shoji again. And that big ball by Russell is hit out of bounds. Yeah. That ball was wide. That is just wide. And USA forced to call a timeout now as Cuba just sil silencing this crowd here with the 5 2 lead in the fifth. Wow. Yeah, that was almost speechless here as USA has, has I'm not sure if they know the set has started. I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty much speechless over here. I, I can't say enough about how Cuba has turned this around. The old Cuba would have never done this. They yeah. would have never even been engaged. They would have lost 25 to 10 in the third set and been a few drinks in by now. Marlon Yant already with three points here in the third, or sorry, in the fifth. Herrera with another one himself. Like, incredible. Five to two. Herrera is serving the ball well, it, but reception is not the issue for the United States right now. Which American attacker is going to produce a point in this rotation? Easy serve. Give it to TJ. Oh my goodness. Marlon Yant just sucked the gravity out of this arena. That was huge. His fourth point of this fifth set, scoring 66 points for Cuba so far or 66% of the points, and that was, oh. How can the United States respond to this? Another block by Yant. Pick up. Oh, Gendry. nobody home. Oh, wide open net in the middle. What an answer there by the United States. A great pickup by Shoji in the back row, and then such good awareness by Michael Christensen. That's why one of reason why he's one of the best. The middle in transition is almost always wide open. Your attacker just has to work hard enough to be available, and Jendrick did. Now DeFalco changing up his serve and handled easily. And Concepcion Con returns the favor. Whoa. Now uh, Marlon Yant, the presumptive MVP of this match, if Cuba is able to finish it, goes back to serve. First to eight, forces the side switch. And he has been the man of this set so far. It's Beautiful big pass serve. by Shoji. There's Matt Anderson. Welcome back to the match number one in red. That was a perfect swing by Matt Anderson. Christensen did such a good job of pushing him all the way to the antenna but still going thumb down and sniping that back corner. And look at this service substitution for the first time in the okay, match number 14 okay, okay. in red, Micah Ma'a. The backup setter who's played great in each of the first mm -hmm. two matches in to serve for Jeff Jendrick. And we saw how, how devastating his serve can be uh, in some of those earlier matches. So let's see what he can do against Cuba. All bit coming off the bench cold. C tough job here to sit for four sets and be called upon in this moment. Puts in a good one. A Lopez oh. off the fingertips of the block and out of here. What a good deep cross court swing. And now uh, at the side switch here, Cuba with the 8 4 lead. And they are very, very hard to stop here. And I'm not entirely sure if the USA has, has an answer at this moment. The question is, where are their break points going to come from? And right now, there's nothing that the U.S. can do to slow down Cuba's offense. Lopez and Yant are just too hot right now, and they're passing the ball great. Big part of it for Cuba. Javier Concepcion, who we will absolutely interview after this if Cuba wins, back to serve. Nicely handled by DeFalco. Oh. Max Holt. Oh my goodness. Automatic. Yeah, that's Automatic. That's inside two blockers and yep. like right on the sideline at 10 feet off the net. That ball is destroyed. This is a gut check moment for the United States. Can Matt Anderson be a difference maker from the service line right here? Here we go in the court. Good touch by Holt. Oh, and it's oh, on Cuba's oh. side. Herrera wasn't sure. And it's going to be a block on the stat sheet for Max Holt. And just like that, from 8-4 to 8-6, and that's what can happen in the fifth set. And 
I, I, fifth sets are so hard to call. I've seen so many ridiculous comebacks when the pressure's on. It's such a different game. And just like that, two big points by the USA, and they're right back in it. Time out Cuba. How is this timeout going to affect Matt Anderson's service rhythm? He has certainly been here a time or two before in his Absolutely. career. And, but you know what? We've seen Anderson maybe not have the greatest serving day so far. So on that last one, he took it off. I, I, I expect the same type of serve here from Matt Anderson. Agreed. Try, and, try and place it in a seam. Yeah. He's just going to go out there and just put a ball in. And so far, the U.S. has proven that when they need big blocks, they can get them. And so just be confident in your block and trust them. Six serving eight, potentially tournament defining point coming up right here. Oh, and, and Lopez really milking Look it with the white crew <laughs> over there, forcing Anderson to sit with the ball. Hey, it's, it's, it's legal, it's legal. Anderson's a very ritualistic player with his pre-serve routine as well. Another good serve in. Excellent pass. Herrera oh. blasted through the seam. Not much room there, and you see Shoji just pick up the ball, go next one. They know that's not a diggable shot, but maybe they can get him on the next one. Nine serving six, Christian Thondike, the Cuban setter who has been outstanding tonight. Back to serve. Oh, Anderson pass. in the passing pattern. And available oh, on the D ball, Garcia. but what a scoop by Garcia. Lopez is blocked by Holtz, and Garcia that is tracks it alive down. somehow. Free ball chance here. Where does Christensen go? Holtz in the middle. Another oh, play by again. Garcia. No way. To Nick the pie to the Falco. Wow. Yonder Garcia deserves all the credit in the world, even though his team didn't win that point. But TJ DeFalco ends it on a highlight reel play. That was the rally of the tournament so far, Rob. That was huge. Yonder Garcia was everywhere, but the USA was relentless. They went to Matt Anderson. They went to Max Holt. But what they needed, it, they went to the pipe. And none other than TJ DeFalco. Here is Garrett Mwangatutia, once again called upon to come off the bench and serve, this time for Aaron Russell like we saw in set four. He has been very good in this area. Just over the tape. Herrera out of bounds. No touch by Christensen. One point game. Wow, what a turnaround here in this fifth set. Man, Garrett Mwangatutia has been so productive serving. He has come in and done such a good job. And that's why he continues to make this team. Another good serve. Beauty, beautiful ball by Garcia. Oh! oh! Straight down by Christensen. Micah Christensen. Oh, my goodness. And just like that, we're tied up at nine. How does that feel, Ronnie? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ronnie Cuban Spike, are you watching? Micah Christensen blocks the lights out here in Charleston. Timeout, Cuba tied at nine. Cuba is trapped in rotation one right now with Herrera on the left side. This is why mm -hmm. Garrett Mwangatutia here serving has such a great opportunity to string points together. And you know what, uh, this has been, this has been uh, one of the greatest games this summer for me. Phenomenal, phenomenal so match. Good. Up there with so Cuba good. versus Brazil, up there with even the, the, this is probably even a better match than the VNL final. Like, oh. this is better than Canada versus Cuba match one in Ottawa. Like, we've, we've seen some insane <laughs> matches this year. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie in the chat, we <laughs> doing two sets, come on. <laughs> Ronnie, one day we need you here in the middle oh. commentating with us. And we're back to the action now, all tied up here at nine in the fifth. A gigantic moment right here in this whole tournament. Garrett, Another good that. pass. Oh, oh good hang touch. time by Holt on the block. Good touch. Shoji steps into set. DeFalco for the lead. He Garcia makes Garcia. the play. Yes! Oh. The blockers pull their hands away! What a brilliant play by Christensen! And he goes over and cheers with the crowd as he knows the magnitude of that play. What wow. a smart play by Christensen and Holt!
The United States has taken the lead. It was eight to four. Eight four. Now 10-9 USA. And Garrett Mongotutia is maybe the unsung hero of this match. Cuba continues to struggle in rotation one. And finally, Herrera gets them out with the kill off the block and out of bounds. But what a run by the United States. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I absolutely love that Herrera came right back and, and swung right at him. And he got, he didn't get into Micah's face, but he pumped his fist right there. And just absolutely. I love the passion from both sides right now. Oh, what a pass, pass by Shoji. DeFalco off the block and out of bounds. Eric Shoji screams with that side out, and as he should, what a pass that was. You might as well rate that pass like a dig. That's essentially what it was. Pretty much. Lopez went down the, uh, back there and hammered on it. One of the best, if not the best server in the world out there, and Shoji made it look like a dig. Absolutely unbelievable. Pressure on every single side out chance from here on out the rest of this match. What's Max Holt got? Oh, not this time. That was so close. We are on the edges of our seats. Uh, this, this, there's so <laughs> much tension this in the gym crazy. right now. You can just feel it. I hope you guys can feel it too at home. Romeo Alonso back to serve. Excellent pass. pass by Aaron Russell. Jendrick in the middle. The jungle cat is there when you need him. He's there to answer your call. The United States leads. Micah Christensen, the American captain, with the ball in his hand at the service line, takes a deep breath, gives a little smile. Just a little smile. He is comfortable in these moments. What a serve. Excellent ball in by Yance, and he gets a chance against the one-on-one, -on -one, which he puts away off the block of Anderson, out of bounds. Good move by Anderson, but not good enough. This has just been side-out volleyball since the USA has taken over, and I love it. I absolutely love it. We are down to the wire here, and you can cut the, cut the tension in this gym with a knife. Big service opportunity here for Jesus Herrera, and he buries it in the middle of the net. It was Herrera Everett, remember, who won that five-setter against Brazil and Ottawa with an ace serve. Absolutely, and now look who's back. Mr. Long Beach himself, Showtime DeFalco. Oh, uh, Chop serve. Speed. Concepcion handles it beautifully on the give Jendrick and go. He's blocked there. by Jendrick. Triple block opportunity against Yan. DeFalco is underneath it. Could this be the break point? Aaron Russell. Tip through the block, it's still alive. Yant again against three blockers, missed it out of bounds, cross courts. That ball is wide. The United States has a match point. Concepcion pointing through the net and acting like one of the Americans touched it. I don't mind that. Let them talk, let them talk. Well played point by both teams, but that is an enormous point on the serve of TJ DeFalco, match point number one, 14 to 12. Tight pass, Van Dyke throws it down, Christensen is there, Russell for the win! She he gets it! Point right on the sideline! Aaron Russell has won it for the United States. What a comeback from down four in the fifth set. And the match of the tournament, maybe the match of the summer, goes to the United States of America, who win Group B in the most dramatic fashion. That was the match I, I, I was dreaming for, Rob. That was beautiful. And you know what? A big up to Cuba. You cannot, you cannot have this match with the way that they played as well, too. Cuba deserves all the respect in the world after that matchup. They were right there along with the USA. But at the end of the day, they're number two in the world for a reason. And it's gut check times like that when you're down 8-4 and you're able to battle back. And just so much to be said about this USA squad. The contribution from Garrett Mwangututia off the bench. Jeff Jendrick, who hadn't started any sets, was subbed off at the end of the fourth there, was able to come in and make an impact. Just all around, what a fantastic play by the United States, but also Cuba. That is a match that has to be one of their best matches of the summer, no doubt about it. Up there with the, the win against, against Brazil in VNL, they had a lot of losses in VNL, but that was phenomenal.
unbelievable by the USA. performance by the United States. That really gave everybody what they came here to see. And there is a presence of crowd in this building right now. And for all of you watching at home, you've tuned into one of the best volleyball matches you will see all year. And we're not done yet because we're going to hear from the guys. Everett, I would love to go grab I think TJ it's, DeFalco. It's, I think it's a DeFalco night for sure. I think, you, I think you need to get DeFalco. And maybe we can sneak in Shoji as well. I will go down there and try and snag yeah. both of them. Hold yeah, it yeah. down for me. Let's, let's do that. Wow. I, my heart is still beating. That was incredible. If you have any ch questions for um, DeFalco or just Shoji, potentially, right now would be the time uh, to put them into the chat as that was one of the great games we've seen all summer long. That was incredible. Rob is off to see if we can grab DeFalco and maybe Shoji. Let's see if he, if he makes it around. Just got to get right, get right in there, but that was incredible. Let's go through some of the stats here. Um, just from that fifth set, five attacking errors for um, Cuba is really what made the difference at the end of the day. Well, interesting enough, it says five attacking errors, even though um, they only made apparently four errors. So that's a, that's a little bit interesting. Oh, I guess one of them could have been a block. That's that's what it is. Is oh, looks like Rob was able to grab T.J. DeFalco as you know, we look here over at DeFalco's stat line from this match, and he had 26 points. He was 19 for 34 with five errors, and he had six blocks and an ace as well. That was quite, quite incredible. And DeFalco is one of them who really turned it on there to try to get the USA back into that fourth set as Rob returns with him here. All right. And we are back now. Great match, man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right, guys. We are here with TJ DeFalco after the U.S.'s incredible 3-2 win over Cuba. And TJ, you guys were rolling for two sets. And then they turned on their game, and they really started putting on the pressure. What was the difference for you guys in, in that fifth set coming down 8-4? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things that we want to try to – keep uh, amongst our, our team for this tournament especially is staying focused the entire time um, and for the first two sets we were very focused and then I think we lost a little bit of that focus and a team like this who has some f wild arms that can just rip balls um, it doesn't work so well we lost a little bit of, a bit of that focus yeah that was that might have been the best match I've watched all summer and it's a Norseka championship pool play game I think that means a lot to elevate this tournament just to kind of elevate the level of North American volleyball. Was that as fun for you to participate in as it was for us to watch? Oh, man. Playing matches like that is is equally good and bad because you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're in the mix. You know, all the emotions are flowing. Um, but, man, matches like that are what make the sport of volleyball so much fun. That In that fourth set, how many points did TJ have? Every, eight, eight, I think. Eight, eight, eight points, points in that fourth set. Eight that points fourth in the set. set is ridiculous. With two big blocks on Herrera. Uh. Did, did you? You know, was that kind of a moment that you realized, hey, like, I need to shut him down here? Or was that just kind of you were just caught up in the process of the match? Uh, well, I mean, the original scouting report is, is him and um, the, uh, the other outside. Him and Lopez. Yeah. If you can stop either one of them, you're, you're in a good spot for the match. Um, so the fact that it came in the fourth set is a little underwhelming. Um, but that, I mean, from the very beginning, that was one of our th goals was to try to stop Herrera. How about the serving and serve reception battle in that game? All Both of your teams were just ripping balls from the baseline. <laughs> and I thought both teams played unbelievable in serve reception and defense. Like the, the offenses were nuts. But how, what was it like for you both in serving mentality and in reception mentality? Yeah, uh, I mean, like uh, with guys like Lopez coming up and hitting the ball at 80, 80 plus miles an hour is just ridiculous to try to prepare for. And then especially if a guy, he has such a good cut too. Right. You got to be prepared for both of them. It's it's pretty gnarly because you're, you're like, oh, he, he cut the last two. Is he going to bomb this one? He bombed the last two. Is he going to cut this one? Yeah. You know, it's, it gets yep. into a wild um, so, set of mindsets with all that. But then also Herrera. Thankfully for us, he didn't have a very good serving night tonight. True. But that man, thing moves really so far sideways yeah. when he puts it in. He can really rip the ball. And if he gets a hold of it, it's it's a lot of trouble for a lot of teams in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Now, for you, there was that one play. Was it in the fourth or was it in the fifth? Fourth. The fourth, Rob, where uh, you got the block. It went through your arms. You immediately fell and brought it back up. 
was that just like a bang bang play? And it's then just, yeah, so it's you just, did the same thing at VNL in the final. It was either yes. like Italy or, or Poland. I can't remember which game. You like touch block, touch the ball, then reacted fast enough to reach outside the ref stand and bring it back. I I said on the broadcast, I'm not sure there's another player on the planet who can make that play. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I, I mean, it's just mostly just a heads up play, bang bang heads up. I, I thankfully I keep my eyes open where I can see where the kind of ball, where the ball kind of went, and then I just reacted to it. So. Are you guys aware, going into a match like that, of the significance of it and of the consequences? Because you lose that fifth set, you're playing tomorrow, and then you have a much diff more difficult semifinal if you win tomorrow. Now, as the group winners, you have tomorrow off and probably a much easier semifinal on Saturday. Are you guys aware of that? Uh, coming into this match, we weren't really aware of much of anything beyond th just this match. And so that, that's my, our main focus is just preparing for tonight. I'm sure that there's little talks here and there, a rumor mill going around of what, what would happen if we were to lose. But, I mean, our, our biggest preparation or our biggest mindset is just to prepare for this match. How big is that preparation and just this match in general for what's to come in a few weeks at the end of, you know, basically at the beginning of October with the Olympic qualifications? Yeah. Um, all these matches are a great testing ground for us to try to, um, refine things, but then also try out some new things here and there. You know, we're, we're going to throw out a new lineup, and we're going to try to find some di different rhythm with some different guys, and um, give a lot of guys chances to get the real volleyball match feel. Um, because I mean, our ultimate goal for the summer is the Olympic qualifier, because that's I mean, that's the biggest, highest possible thing we're going to try to prepare for. But uh, of course, every match matters. Mm -hmm. But we're just trying to find find our groove, and, and you know, we've had s five, six weeks training block for this tournament, which has been great but we're just trying to put it all together. Well, we got that high-level feel just now. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was, seriously, I think that was as good of a Norseka match as I've ever seen. Like, it, it's been a while since all the teams have brought all the guys to an event like that. It reminds me of when you were kind of leading the next generation team in 2019 against Cuba, a pretty similar event and some similarly good matches. Uh, this was electric, and I was just happy to be a part of it. I, yeah. I <laughs> hope that you were too, because that was awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm still blown away from that Me match. I, I'm a little bit speechless. How's the <laughs> vibe on the team with the guys right now? It looks like you guys are just meshing. Yeah, we, uh, you know, uh, w one of the nice things about having such a long training block is that we're able to spend all day, uh, you know, for weeks and weeks at a time together. Um, and so now we've really found our groove with our on the court and off the court personalities and kind of meshing that all together has been really nice for us. Okay, great. Now, tomorrow you guys get a day off. You're going to be playing uh, the winner of... I think it's Dominican, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Yeah. What do you guys do tomorrow to get ready for that, that match on Saturday? We try our best to get rest and recovery as it's now 9.50 p.m. Um, we, and then we have lifting and practice tomorrow morning. Oof. Yeah. So it's <laughs> not an easy week. No, no rest for the wicked. <laughs> so eh? Speaking of recovery, go get started. And please go grab Mr. Eric Shoji and bring him to us. Okay. I think Appreciate he's interested in the Great chat. Match, Matt, Thank tonight. you, guys. Um, Thank great you. job, TJ. That was awesome. Thanks, bud. That was – my heart's still beating, Rob. My heart my heart is still beating. Oh, and then our uh, our producer there, Kyung, needs to get her pictures in. Of course, she's mm -hmm. been a massive help with us all week. Can you flag down Eric? Let's see. Can we can we get Shoji? I, I talked mm. to him. I told him we wanted to chat with him. Yeah. Oh yeah. He sees us. He's yes, coming. There we, we go. Him. Excellent. I even actually I I recorded Eric during uh, warm ups. Warm -up oh, his warm up routine is pretty awesome. Whew! That was a fun one, eh? That w yeah. Seriously, as uh, good of a match as I've seen all summer. What, what, what's what's the chat saying? Uh, one person says, "Bro, called TJ Bud." Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. now, and now people are are uh, stoked that Eric Shoji is coming to join us. What's up, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> Good answer. Come on in, my friend. We are live. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. You already know that this is Eric Shoji. Eric, Ooh, congratulations. That this. was. Awesome. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. Um, <laughs> tell us, yeah, I tell mean, us how sorry, you feel right I was, now. I, I feel a little bit relieved, I'm not going to lie, after you know being up 2-0. Not playing that great. Um, personally, not just feeling amazing out there. But, you know, come back in the fifth set and <laughs> get the win. I'm a little bit speechless here. But so are we. Um, we're happy to win our pool, have a day off tomorrow. I think a lot of us in the back of our minds are like, we don't want to play tomorrow. Yeah. Play in the quarterfinal, it would, it would mean six straight days, semifinal against Canada, potentially. So 
We're happy we came back in that fifth set because it wasn't looking great. <laughs> that uh, it is significant. We were talking about, about on the broadcast. Uh, TJ claimed that he wasn't totally aware. I know for a fact that you, Eric, were aware of that. Yeah. Didn't want to play tomorrow. Now you have the tournament all in front of you. Do you get tomorrow off? You get the winner, I think, of Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. I think so too. On Saturday. Um, that was as good of a serve and pass back and forth match as I've seen in a long time. The level of serving and the level of reception for both teams was sky high. What was it like for you trying to fight off some of those balls? Yeah, I think in the beginning it, it was a little bit rocky. Um, we weren't sure what they were going to come out with. Obviously they have three or four deadly servers over there that we know what they can do. We played against them in VNL. But First time, it felt like a first match for a lot of us, actually. Um, it was tonight, or tonight like last night. Like, yeah. yeah, tonight, last night. But they're a good team. You could see their outsides were just ripping balls, and mm -hmm. they're high-level professional players that win a lot of matches and a lot of different leagues out there. So I don't know if we took them lightly, but... Tom they, Jeschke just tried to throw something over. at you. <laughs> it wasn't a very good throw, whatever it was. Well, I, I won't call him what he a name on, on <laughs> last year. Um, the, in that in the fifth set, you passed a ball from Lopez. Um, that he was a big serve from him. It was just as you guys were, were getting the flow of things, and you guys immediately sided out and you reacted like a uh, like it was a dig, like you were jumping and stomping. I mean, it and, basically and is at that and point. It, you know, is that? Do you think there's those those, those, those like gut check times in the set, and especially in the fifth set, where like you know it's like having the ace on the mound and a big slugger uh, at the plate, where if you can pass that ball well, you're going to convert it. Yeah, I mean, Lopez, we saw how <laughs> how well he was serving in that match. And Crazy. I'm not sure what the score was, 12-all, something like that. And it is kind of like defense out there, and we kind of had to change up the rotation a little bit, just fight it off and get the side out. So it was a big point. Um, obviously, you kind of like want to be in those situations with a tough server on the line and want to battle, battle it off. But, yeah, we did a great job there. And I lost a little bit of my like edge and cele celebrations in the, in the start, so I wanted to bring that back fourth, fifth set kind of find my rhythm and you know my just my energy out there do we you, love your energy do you always. find you're, you're playing the best when you're celebrating like that and you're like in tune at that level yeah i mean there's definitely a dialed in focus that i like to have but something that i like to do is just bring the energy and i think you guys have seen that from me and something that i expect out it. of myself and i don't think i had it tonight and it's a learning process a, a, a match that i want to learn from go back and watch and be a little bit better come Saturday. Make sure you mute the commentators when you do that. Okay. Uh, one question I have is about me or oh no, about everyone. Just about in everyone. general, okay. you don't need to. You listen to the two of us enough already. I do. I do. Um, we we talked to your coach John Sparall last night, and one of the things we asked him about was the two libero thing. Yeah. It's something that I have really never seen the United States do as long as you've been the libero and before. What is it like for you to have Timmy McIntosh, who is awesome, come in and play defense for four out of the? I guess it's 12 rotations. Does it break up your rhythm? Does it, like, how do you feel about it as the reception libero who's now in only six rotations? Yeah, it can, it can be a little bit hard to find the rhythm for sure, but it's something that we've talked about heading into this tournament specifi specifically that maybe we wanted to do and make a little bit of a change. Um, you know, Sparrow said he might throw Tim in there. For me, I personally felt like I that was a well-deserved, you know, entrance for Tim. I, I wasn't digging any balls and you know, we needed a little bit of a switch up. I think I needed a little bit of a mental break there, but I wanted to be in that fifth set to, you know, just bring some energy, maybe set a couple high balls, which I think I did, yes. and, and pass Great the ball. Point. So, you know, I kind of dialed it in the fifth set because they said, you know, you're going to be in, you're playing. I just wanted to get maybe one ball up. I don't, I don't think anything really <laughs> came in my direction. But no, it didn't. Um, set a couple high balls. Um, passed a couple of balls and had great energy so that's what i wanted to bring what, check what, check check what was the focus like at down eight four at the side a side switch is that you know what's the discussions there because it's kind of like a midi timeout you yeah. get to regroup you you get to set back up but after that side switch you guys were a different team yeah it was all about side out you know even on some of quote their easier servers we weren't handling well and mm -hmm. in first ball so we wanted to side out on a couple of those servers, and then our serving was a little bit inconsistent. I don't know how many serve, how many errors we had tonight. But Let's check. It's not the level that we wanted. I don't think we had 20. 24 total with six aces, so one to four is not bad. It was the timeliness of some of them that yeah. probably will will spot will stick out on film. I'm curious to see when you guys go back and watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think that we did a much better job throughout VNL of of having a little bit more consistency. I know you guys have touched on that, but we had 20 the other night, 24 tonight. I know that we're gonna 
probably get talked to about that a little bit tonight. You guys have served the ball great um, this summer. Yeah, yeah. But I thought Cuba actually passed really well tonight. They um, did. I, I thought Cuba's passing game was really, really strong. Yeah, I mean, they're not necessarily known for their mm -hmm. passing, but if they can just get that ball up consistently, you can see their pin hitters and their middles went off. So yeah. I think they did a great job. We kind of felt like we had to press a little bit, and that resulted in a, a couple of errors. But come back in the fifth. We win. We have the day off. That's huge. We're good. <laughs> is there, uh, <laughs> I've always been curious about this, is there just like an unspoken respect from libero to other libero? Because I thought that Yonder Garcia tonight was awesome. Yeah, he passed a lot of balls, dug a lot of tough balls from the quick and, the, and down the line from Matt. But I think so. I think we have a little libero um, group going on out there. I know I'm friends with a bunch out there. We play with and against each other a lot. So I think we're a little bit of a, I'm not like going to say fraternity a cult, of but sorts. maybe a fraternity is a better word. Let's go with that. Um, one step below a cult, you know? <laughs> you know, we, we all know what we go through, you know, the kind of stuff that we have to deal with <laughs> from our teammates and on and off the court. So. I, I mean, I don't think and many other liberos in the world have a teammate who's consistently making videos on TikTok about how much better middles are than liberos. <laughs> We're Shout looking at the Taylor. Yeah, if, if people see it, I mean, the views aren't that high. So. Ooh. <laughs> we did have a comment just before from uh, our buddy that runs the Spicy Veebs Instagram account. He said, oh, who knew famous YouTuber Eric showed you was such a good volleyball player? Oh, well, I try not to talk about myself that much on my YouTube, but thank you very much. <laughs> I try. A great comment. Um, that, in, in, in summary, that might have been the best Norseka match we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And what is your thought, Eric, this week on maybe just trying to elevate the significance of this tournament? Because like we, we, we've this week been watching Euro Volley, which is a massive deal. Yeah. We saw Argentina beat Brazil in the in the South American Championship, big deal. Norseka Women's was a big deal. Uh, I think we're trying our best, and you guys just delivered a show just now that is helping to elevate men's Norseka as well. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's. It's a great event if we can get all the teams here. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past we've had some different teams um, bringing some different guys. I know Mexico's missing a couple guys. So the, the, the rosters for these tournaments, I don't think they're necessarily the top of for some of these teams. I think for USA, Cuba, Canada, this is a big tournament for oh the yeah. three of us, and we're, we're trying to win gold there. So, yeah, you guys are doing a great job. Um, we're trying to, you know, promote it as much as possible. We appreciate that, that very much. We would – love some people to come out here on Saturday and Sunday. I think we're going to get a little bit of a better crowd, but actually mm -hmm. the crowd brought some energy tonight, which they was did. which was really cool. Definitely. Just um, about 40,000 people tuned into that awesome. match. Awesome. Yeah, so that's, that's I mean that's, that's a great good. number, so you guys are getting some hits hopefully and that's great for you guys. But yeah, great volleyball tonight. I think the semis should be pretty good as well. Canada Cuba is going to be exciting. We're going to Maybe I should say that. <laughs> I um, mean, we're gonna we'll we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead sure. and be the and media people and say that yeah, it's gonna yeah, be Canada. And then Cuba. we're gonna hopefully take care of business in our summer. Yeah, great, great, great match, Eric. Thank, thank you, you for joining us. Enjoy the well-deserved day off. Always a pleasure. I'm gonna be watching you guys and seeing how what you say. <laughs> we we're on notice. And anyone to thank back home, by the way, you're, you're um, still alive if you want to be. I'm gonna thank maybe my family. I don't know if they're watching, but love you all. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, awesome. buddy. All right. Thanks, Thanks Shoji. See you Saturday. Yeah. All righty. Oh, it looks like some fans are still waiting for Shoji um, to come back here. And Rob, uh, that wraps up what has been hands down the best day so far here Without at the 2023 question. Men's North Seca Continental Championship in what, Charleston, West, West Virginia. I almost said West Carolina, which makes <laughs> no sense uh, whatsoever. It's it's we're, we're, this is match number nine so far, and I know you and I talked about we're gonna we're gonna take some matches off, we're gonna do s some solo. That basically nope, hasn't, hasn't happened. happened. That basically hasn't happened. But well, I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, no, that was a, a volleyball highlight of my career right there. Calling that game, that match was fantastic. Uh, the viewership was amazing. The chat activity was amazing, and uh, the broadcast I hope looked amazing as well. So thank you guys, and we'll be back tomorrow because it's bracket time. Yes, the it is. It is bracket time. But I man, like t today's matches overall were awesome. fantastic. Awesome. From the first one, Puerto Rico to Suriname, the second one, Dominican Republic was outstanding. The best I've ever seen them, and tonight was an all-time classic. Both teams playing well. So the sem the quarterfinals are set. Cuba will take on Mexico. Puerto Rico will take on the Dominican Republic. Those two matches are tomorrow at 5 and 7.30. We don't know which is which. 
We'll get that in a minute, and we'll get it all scheduled right here on the Volleyball Source YouTube channel because you know where to watch them. So only two games tomorrow. Only two, just the 5 and the 7.30. That's right. Then uh, back to three matches on Saturday and Sunday. Enjoy enjoy your Thursday night. Enjoy most of the day on Friday tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow afternoon for the pregame show live here at Courtside. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.